Yes, uh, what a day the Lord has brought us again together in the spirit uh, of fellowship where we always gather and we, we encourage one another from the word of God that would have been preached. And, and this occasion is one very remarkable where you will actually benefit uh, through the regurgitation of the saints from the word that has been preached. I want to welcome you all today to our service. This is our midweek service, and, and we are so glad that we meet again, uh, even at various time zones in the world. But really, it doesn't really matter that we are in different time zones. What matters is we are in the same spirit. And remember, we are the New Testament church, which abides forever the house of the Lord God Almighty. Uh, in, today's, in today's service, as I said, it's a time of looking back into the Word, it's a time of sharing, it's a time of uh, once again reminding one another concerning the Word that has been preached. And indeed, uh, the Basley gesture, part one and two, I know that we did a revision and we allowed you to testify during the midweek service, especially on the first part of the sermon, but we did not give you another opportunity to look into the part two where we shall be, uh, we shall be measuring today in our discussion. But with me, I have Pastor Chuma and I have Pastor Mzimba and of course, uh, Pastor Irengu is present as well. If you don't hear the, the ululation, <laughs> it's because you are not opening your ears wide. Yes. But she is right here present with us, and we are happy that we are flowing together in the same spirit. Yes. And we are discussing and we are sharing this great word. Uh, Pastor Chuma, please invite the children to this wonderful service. Yes, thank you, Evangelist Mafolo. Yes. Uh, I, was, uh, I was smiling there when you, you mentioned Pastor Irengu's presence. Uh, I came across Pastor Paloy as well. Yes, he is here as well, uh, behind the scenes, together with the media team. And uh, brethren, we thank God for this day. We thank God for this service. And I want to welcome you to our midweek service. Uh, I'm anticipating a, let, a lot of learning points as we review the puzzle I gesture, uh, part one and part two. Uh, it does look like today we are going to do, do it in a different manner, uh, and uh, we will see what manner we are doing the review. But I'm very, very excited to be here with you, and I welcome you to our midweek service. Thank you, Evangelist Mafolo. Uh, maybe, maybe I could read, read just one scripture there. When we are talking about the, the, the poverty uh, of Christ or the simplicity of Christ or the poem and pr principle, I'm reminded of uh, James chapter 2, verse 5, which says, How can my beloved brethren, has not God chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to them that love him? What an amazing scripture. Yes. The Lord has chosen the poor of this world to be rich in things of faith. Ah, wow. We thank the Lord, President. Thank you, Evangelist Mafolo. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Chuma. Uh, what a wonder and what a delight that scripture is. It's so rich. Yes. Uh, that's the good part. Philippians chapter 3, uh, Pastor Mudzimba. Yes, I welcome you, and as you welcome the children uh, to this wonderful service, verse number one, Philippians chapter three, verse number one. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. Yes. To write the same things to you, to me indeed is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Okay. It is safe yes. for you. When we come back to you, yes. 
repeating the same things yes. that I wrote in a letter, mm. which you already have and which you have already read. Mm. But for me to come again with the same words, with the same message, with the same teaching, it mm. is safe. Yes. For, yes. You, for who? For you. For you. For and you. these discussions, they are safe for you. Amen. I want to say that again. Because I have seen so many who are struggling to understand, and many do speak, and, and from the abundance of their words, yes. you will realize that they missed, they missed the concept of the word that was preached. And, and that's when we, as the ministers, we come again saying the yes. same things that have been said to you, to emphasize, mm. to make sure you do understand what the word, especially from an apostle point of view, mm. uh, really meant. Yes. We break it into smaller particles, into smaller pieces yes. for you to easily chew and for you to easily understand. So the things that you find very difficult from an apostle's message, mm. don't rush to, 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 what do they say, to, 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 Right. They despair, yes. they lose hope, mm. they say, ha, ah, this thing is unattainable. This is a hard saying. This is mm. a hard saying. Who can, who can, who can hear, hear them? it? <laughs> but I want you to say to yourself, every time that you meet such yes. a word, which probably you may fail to understand, mm -hmm. you say, no, don't worry. I have Pastor Chuma. Amen. I have Pastor Mzimba. Yes. I will go to them mm -hmm. and say, "Ha, ah, please, that word, the, the, so much information was mm -hmm. compacted together. Yeah. Help me to understand, understand. it better. Yes. And that same word will be broken down to you mm -hmm. and it will be for your benefit. As Paul says there, it is safe for you. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Mzimba, this revision that we are going to have yeah. on the Basilei uh, gesture, part one and two. Yes, it is a time to break again yeah. into smaller particles, that word that has been taught from a, an apostle's point of view. Yeah, thank you so much, evangelist. It's another day once again when we have been invited of the Lord to come also to sit on the table so that we can also eat this bread of life which the Lord himself spoke about in John 6, 48. I am that bread which came down from heaven. But this bread has to be broken down into smaller fragments that are actually chewable uh, by all. You know, evangelists, as, as you have just said, it, when the apostle teaches, uh, there will be hard sayings, deeper issues that you will be uh, teaching, but for them to be understood now, they need to be broken down into small, into very smaller particles, into very tiny particles, so that those that are that may be still tender in their faith may also be able to understand them, to grasp them. So it's a midweek service today. We we really are going to 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 experience. Uh, the, the, the faithfulness of the Lord, the ministration of the Lord, as we shall go through today's proceedings, like what evangelists have said. But before we go, we proceed. Pastor Jima, I, I will ask you to read uh, 36, verse 7 of the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 36, verse 7 to 9. Psalm yes. chapter 36, 36 verse 7. Excellent is thy loving kindness, yes. O God. Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. The children of men put their trust, their hope, under the shadow of the wings of God, who is loving kindness, who is a loving God. Yes. Verse 8 and 9. They shall be abundantly satisfied 
with the fatness of thy house. They are going to be abundantly satisfied with the fatness that is in thy house. So in the house of God, there is fatness which is there to, which is there to, to provide satisfaction to those that come to the Lord. Yes. And thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. There is water there which the children are all, supposed, are, are, are all going to drink. The water of pleasures. So the preachers of the gospel are the ones who are going to dispense or to distribute this water to those that trust in the Lord. But I love verse 9. For with thee is the fountain of life. With in, thee, God, is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. Right. <laughs> Pastor Juba, yes. may you repeat part B? Part B. In thy light. In thy light. Shall we see light. Shall we see light. Hallelujah. So for us to see light, we have to be in light. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Jesus Christ is the light. But there is also the issue of light that we are to see. Mm. That is if we are in Christ. Yes. So Jesus says in John chapter 8 verse 12, I am the light, I am the light of the world. Mm. I am the light of the world and whosoever followeth me shall not have, shall not walk in darkness, but ye shall have uh, the light of life. You see? Mm. And the knowledge of Christ, the knowledge about God is the light that we then uh, amass or absorb into our system when we are learning the word of God. Mm. But obviously, we have to be in Christ. Thank you, Evangelist. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Uh, thank you for those words uh, of encouragement. And we always find comfort in the words of the Lord that strengthen us in the paths of righteousness. Yes, it is about the Basilai gesture. Yes. Part one and part two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yes, indeed. We shall be chewing it. Yes. From the minister's point of view. Yeah. And and you too will benefit from the discussion that we shall be holding in right here in this place. Uh, as the ministers shall be breaking the message into those fine particles chewable enough so that even the least of us can also partake the grace of the Lord indeed to all that are shall be that shall be saved yes. and to all that are destined to life uh, will be made accessible at any level if you are the chosen and the elect of God and I believe that you too are the chosen and you are part of the remnant that God has chosen to reveal the secrets about himself uh, through the message of his servant. And I'm talking about our mother, Apostle Talent uh, Farai Chiwenga, who is indeed an apostle. Uh, if he be not an apostle unto others, but to you, but yes. to me, we are the seal of his apostleship. Um, yes. Because indeed, Amen. we carry the true mark mm. of his apostleship mm. on us. Mm. We are products uh, and we are children. We have been bathed by the gospel uh, through him. And what a delight it is. Uh, that's Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. Uh, that's where we are starting from. We can't start from anywhere else. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, Pastor Chuma, we can't start from anywhere nah, else. Nah. It's, about, nah. it's about Proverbs 19, yes. verse yes. 17. Yes. What a proverb. Yes, mm. an amazing proverb. I'm going, I'm going to read it, read it from the NASB. One who is gracious to a poor person learns to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good deed. Yes. <laughs> One. Yes. And, and there is no name to it. Mm -hmm. But one, one. Who is gracious to a poor man. Yes. There is no name again. 
to the poor man. No. Yes. But whoever is gracious to the poor man oh, lends to the Lord. Mm. Yes. And the Lord will repay him for his good, good deed. deed. And what the verse did not tell us is the exact opposite of that <laughs> of what that verse means. Yes. Can you read it, Pastor Pastor Mzimba? The verse which which was not stated in that verse seventeen, so that we may understand that verse more clearly. Okay. Uh... I, I want I want to see if you have understood my request. The opposite, the very opposite of that verse, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, probably I can just uh, rewrite this scripture here. Yes. Because here he's saying, one who is gracious to a poor person lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his good deed. One who is not gracious to a poor man lends right. Lends not to the Lord. One yes, who is not it. gracious to a poor man. Okay, mm. go ahead. Lends not to the Lord. That one does not lend to the Lord. <laughs> yes. Okay. And he will repay for himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, 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 no, 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 it didn't come out well. No, it didn't. It didn't. No. Because <laughs> what would the Lord repay if there is nothing that he, he, he is obligated by the actions of the one? The Lord has to be obligated by the actions of the one. Yes. To do something. Yes. To repay. Yes. So that, for God to repay, we have to rewrite that verse. And and let me hear Pastor Chuma. What yeah, do you what do you say? That that he following after end uh, refers to God. So he should read one who is not gracious to a poor man uh -huh. does not lend to the Lord. Uh -huh. And he will repay him for his bad deed. He will for repay his him evil, evil for his deed. evil deed. Mm. That's wonderful. <laughs> uh, how, how do you rewrite that in the direct <laughs> opposite of what is written right there for us to understand? They say it is better to, for one to understand better, you need to know the opposite yes. of what that thing is talking about. Yes. If it's right, you understand right from wrong. So what is the wrong thing that you should not do for you to understand the right that you should do? But we have one man yes. a who is gracious to a poor man. And his actions of, gr of, of grace to the poor man of, or, or compassion to the poor man is referred to as a lending to the Lord, mm. and the Lord will repay him for his good deed. And and what what a verse it was. <laughs> this was not the first time for me to hear uh, this verse being read in the church mm. or to people. Yeah. But of course, this world will always mean anything. The verse really talked about people in the streets, Yes. Lending to somebody beg, begging in the street sides or the, to go to children's home or to the yes. blind people's home, mm. to Jairus Jiri, you give to them mm. because they are poor and yes. needy. Yes. And because they satisfy the position of poor and needy. Yeah. Then the verse is directly translated to mean exactly that. You have landed to the Lord. Yeah. Why is it wrong <laughs> to say if you give to Jairus Jiri, you have given to the Lord. The Lord will repay you. Where is the confusion? We shall be looking into those matters. But, uh, of course, let's, let's go to, to this thing, this aspect of repayment. Yes. The Lord will repay. Yes. 
What are we talking about? The Lord yeah. will repay. <laughs> yeah, when we are talking about this issue of repay, uh, the first thing that we need to, 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 to look at here now is whenever we see the appearance or appearing of the word to repay in respect to God, it's now judgment that yeah. we are now talking about. Yeah. Was to repay is to recompense, mm. is to pay back. Mm. So God will now pay back for that which you did mm. to the poor man. If we are gracious to the poor man, God will repay you. Yeah. But how is he going to repay you for that what you, what you did to the poor man? So here we are, talking, we are seeing a picture of, of judgment yes. being painted here. Or oh, God was introducing the aspect of, of judgment into the picture. So God is going to pay, is going to, to repay those that would have been gracious to the poor man and those that would have not been gracious to the poor man. But how then do you identify the poor man? Is another question. Does everyone fit uh, in this issue of a, of, of a poor man? And the word man there is not in plural. It's a singular. It's in singular. So the poor man is one. But God is going to repay you. God is not going to repay the poor man. He is going to repay he who would have been gracious to the poor man. So we are seeing the issue of judgment here. It's a repayment. It's a repayment. Okay. So in this, in this case here, because I said the very opposite of that verse, yes. will help us to understand yes. what will happen to the other side. One who is not gracious to the poor man lends to the Lord. Yeah, he also lends to the Lord. Yes. yes. In other words, the word lends, you can highlight the word lends. Yes. That word, pastors, yes. it's putting God into debt. Yes. yes. It's yes. putting God into a position of action mm. where God is expected yes. to do something Yes. Because of the actions of the one, whether he was gracious or he, he was wasn't gracious. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it puts God in a position mm. where he has to act on the actions mm. of the one who gave. Yes. Whether to the positive in the repayment yes. for the good done mm. yeah. or in the negative over the repayment for the evil yes. that the person has done. Yes. yes. So that's the reason why I asked I, I asked concerning the repayment. What is yeah. repayment? Yeah. Pastor Chuma, you want also to add to Pastor Mzimba. But but I also need the verses. You remember the verse which Amai spoke about? Yes. 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 So so this this repayment is a. It's a, a segment of accounts. It's a, it's a day of reckoning. It's, a, it's, it's, it's his vengeance. And it's so very, very clear that this repayment is not done by the poor man, although the person has not been, the person has been gracious to the poor man or has not been gracious to the poor man. The one who repays is God. And we see, we, we, we saw that in Romans chapter 12, uh, verse 19, uh, which says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give bless unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Yes. I also want to, 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 to read from uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 35, uh, talking about the, the, the fact that it's God who repays. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 35. Uh, says, to me belongs vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. So you will realize that these are the people, this judgment, this recompense 
is, 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 is for the people who were not gracious to the poor man. He will repay. God repays both the ones that are gracious and the ones that are not gracious. Thank you, Evangelist. Thank you, thank you Pastor, for bringing those verses, uh, especially the Deuteronomy verse. Yes. Yes, yes, that verse uh, brings, makes it very clear yes. that when God recompenses mm. an evil person mm. for his actions, yes. he actually wants to, uh, to, 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 it's a vengeance. Yes. That he is actually conducting on that person. Yeah. He says, yeah. to me belongs vengeance. Yes. Yes. So you are not allowed as a person to rush to, to, to say, I want this person to, to pay back. I'll mm. fix him. I'll fix him. Send it back mm. to the sender. Yes. <laughs> you, you have to wait on God. God yes. says, I am the one. Vengeance is mine. Yes. I will, he will repay. Yes. Yeah. In due time, mm. I will make sure that the person receives the due of whatever they yeah. would have uh, yeah. done. Yes. Their actions. Mm. It's all about repayment. Mm. Mm. And, and the, what repayment simply means you spoke about reimbursement, mm. you spoke about recompense, and, and so many scriptures talk about it. Mm. Yes. Let's go to Hebrew chapter 10. Yes, you will 26. see. Uh, verse 35, that there is a payback, mm. but there is also a reward for good. Yes. Yes, yes there is a reward for good. Uh -huh. Cast not away therefore your confidence. Do not cast away your confidence. Which has great recompense of reward. You mm. as a child of God, mm. there is a great recompense Amen. of reward. Yes. Where is the reward coming from? Because a reward is only going to the one who was compassionate, who was gracious to the, to poor, the poor man. man. Mm. But not the one who was not gracious yeah. to the poor man. Mm. We, we shall be talking about that because the message went further mm. to illustrate uh, this whole matter to us. Mm. Yes. But verse 36, I like it as well. For you have need of patience. Yes. You being a child of God, you need patience. Yes. That after you have done the will of God, uh -huh. you might receive the promise. Ah. So, so, so it's, it's, it's a reward. It's a yes. recompense. Yes. If you are patient mm. and you do the will of God, mm. the Lord will make sure you receive the promise. Yes. Mm. Is that not a recompense? It it's is. a recompense. It's a payment mm. for what you would have done to the poor man. Yeah. And, and I, I was looking <laughs> into the word of God and I saw several examples yes. of people who did something to the poor man. Mm. And, and because of their actions to the poor man, mm. God rewarded them. Yes. God rewarded them. Yeah. And I was looking at, you know, Ruth, the story of Ruth. Yes. Chapter 2. Let's go to Ruth chapter 2. You will understand it uh, better from there. Chapter 2, let's read from verse number 11. You hear the words of Boaz to Ruth. And Boaz answered and said unto her, It has fully been showed me all uh -huh. that thou hast done unto thy mother-in-law. All that you did to your mother-in-law. Since the death. It was told me. And who is this Boaz? Is he not Christ? <laughs> but, yes. but look, I, 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 there is something yes. that you did to your mother-in-law. I yes. heard about it. Yes. So yes. what are you saying, Boaz? Yeah. Yes. That you did to your mother-in-law since the death of thine husband. Yes. And how thou hast left thy father and thy mother. You, you left your father and mother. And the land of thy nativity. You left the land of your nativity. And had come unto a people. Now you are here. Which thou knowest not here. You are among a people which you do not know. <laughs> Was this not the promise to Abraham? Yes. Go to the land that I will show you. Yes. Away from the land of nativity. Mm. Yes. And God said, I will bless you. Yes. And Abraham <laughs> obeyed. Yes. But here we see Ruth mm. doing actions similar to the actions of Abraham. Yes. But this was in treatment to a mother. 
mother-in-law, mm -hmm. what you did, I heard about it. Yes. Now it is time for your recompense. Hey. You are being rewarded, verse number 12. <laughs> The Lord recompense thy work. Ah, yes. Are you the Lord? Hallelujah. Now, now we're Boaz. We we'll go to you. You, you. I heard what you did. Your works shall be recompensed. Are you the Lord now that you say the Lord recompense thy works? <laughs> eh? What if the Lord does not want to recompense the Ruth for all that she did? <laughs> but read again. The Lord recompense thy work and a full reward be given thee of the Lord God of Israel. May the Lord God of Israel reward you to the fullest, mm. not to a certain part, no. and a full reward be given thee. No. Yes. Yes. Joshua, Mr. Zanini. Joshua, Mr. Zanini. Kana uka wandika waka, especially wanoda amu, kare kanditi imu ka. Wanonga imu kaya munu. Oti kana muka, muka wana James wangu. Zopu wa mastaya wanu kaya mwaza mkosha. Eh, eh. Muka wana James wangu. Muna wana James wangu di champa champa eh, $50. Yes. Iwo mm. wanonga James. Wenda na ino za wanza hasha mwari. Anika kupi 50 years. Reka ah. niko kupa 20. Iwo unotora 20 ujita but at least it's better than yeah, nothing. Better than nothing. Mm. Then you take the 20 and you go. Mm. Mm. But Boaz is promising Ruth that the Lord shall reward to the fullest. Mm. Mm. You will have a full reward mm. which shall come to you from the Lord of Israel mm. Eh? Mm. because mm. of what you have done. Yes. God yes. rewards. Mm. You have come to the Lord under whose wings art thou come to trust. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that verse. <laughs> Amazing. Isn't it so rich? It's rich. It's really on the it's principle. Yes. The performance yes. principle. So yes. there is a reward mm. for every mm. action, for everything mm. that you do. Yes. Mm. For the Lord, you shall receive a reward. A reward. And to Ruth, we thank God. Akaziva mm. yes. And she was recompensed <laughs> to the full. Yes. And what more recompense would she want? Mm. Rather than getting married to the one who pays the full price of, re of the reward. Yes. yes. Ah, yes. If you are the one saying this word, the, you shall marry me. That's all that I want. <laughs> and she ended up married to boss. <laughs> and, and, and evangelist and pastor Shuma, if we are to also look at this scripture, uh, mm. in verse 12 yes. of the book of Ruth 2, it says, The Lord recommends thy work. And a full reward be given thee of the Lord God of Israel, mm -hmm. under whose wings thou art come to trust. Mm -hmm. So Ruth had to identify the wings of God, mm -hmm. and, and 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 she had to put a trust under these wings, mm -hmm. so that you then receive uh, the, the the recompense of God in yes. full. Yes. You see now, yes. there is the issue of trust. Yes. You cannot expect to receive uh, a reward or to be repaid by the Lord if you have not put your trust yeah. in Him. I'm talking Lord. about uh, the repayment or recompense mm -hmm. that is to be done for, for good works. <laughs> yes. Oh, because obviously, if you have done wrong, you cannot expect you cannot you are not expected to be to to be. Uh, to trust in the Lord yeah. for you to re to receive this I mean this recompense. Mm. Yes. Yes. So that's 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 a Ruth there. Yes. And and I see believers also. Uh, this one is saying uh, Abigail also likewise. Akati wakuna David kana muchinge mapa chigaro muzondirangari rao. Yeah, actions were also yes. rewarded. Yes. But I was talking about Ruth. Yes. She said, well, if the principle is that God pays or God repays, mm. then good actions are worth taking. And, and as we talk like now, I, I want every child of God to know, and, and we shall show you the verse, there is no, nothing you do for God mm. which shall just go like that. <laughs> yeah. the, God is not unjust to forget your works of labor. Yeah. 
Mm. No, he's not like that. God repays. Yes. Everything that you do to the Lord, mm. he will make sure yes. it's repaid back. Yes. Mm. Yes. You get a back pay. Yes. 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 But but let's look at Proverbs chapter eleven, verse thirty one. Because we were talking about about God repaying the righteous. Yes. But what does he do to the wicked? Is yeah. there a recompense to the wicked people? Is there something God will do? To the unjust, yes. those who refuse to show mercy, those who refuse to show kindness to the to the poor man. What does the word say there? Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. Okay, the righteous, not the wicked. The righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. Yes. Okay, much more the wicked and the sinner. Much more the wicked and the sin. <laughs> so, what, what what does because because there is a, a, a colony there. Yes. You see, what is the meaning of the letter? Much more the wicked and mm. the sinner. Mm. <laughs> what is he saying, Pastor Juma? You did some linguistic. <laughs> yes. Probably. We need yes, to I know. can I can explain that. Uh, uh, so, what what he's saying that is is talking about the recompense to the righteous. Yes. Uh, and then, but then when he says much more the wicked and the sinner, he's, he's saying that the wicked and the sinner will be recompensed more by, 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 by multiples. Uh, the best scripture that can describe uh, the second part of, uh, of, Jeremiah, of, of Proverbs 11, 31, is Jeremiah chapter 30, verses, verses 6. Yes. Six and seven. I'll, I'm going to read it, uh, Evangelist Mafolo, to explain that verse. Ask you now and see whether a man doth travel with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travel, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it. So, ugaona wa rume baba tazuhuno kunge ungaza ne mimba. Yes. Kwani mpaka uma ipapu. Saka ndio explanation ye ye Proverbs 11 verses 31 when he says that much more the wicked and the sinner they will be they will be recompensed Times eleven thousand, whatever times 11, number it is. <laughs> times twenty thousand. <laughs> Actually, the verse is also saying, Pastor. Yes. Let not the wicked and the sinner think that God will not require mm. a, a recompense for them. Yeah. The righteous, in as much as the righteous shall be recompensed, recompensed. Mm. in the earth. Yes. The sinners and the wicked people. Two shall be recompensed. recompensed. Mm. Yes. They too shall have their portion yes. from the Lord. Mm. Yes. But it will be according to the actions to the poor man. Let's mm. go back to we are simply saying to the we, we are going back to the issue that is at the end. It is about how you deal mm. with the poor man. The poor man. But how you deal with the poor man? Yes, yes. yes but but before, you, before you go back to, to, to chapter 9 and verse 17, there's also this other, this another scripture which is very good. Uh, 13 verse 21 of the book of Proverbs. Mm. Proverbs 13 verse 21. Evil persuade sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. Yes. Mm -hmm. Evil pursues sinners. Yes. Uh -huh. It's a reward for it's them. It's a reward. Yes. So this yes. evil is going to pursue them. Yes. yes. The day they shall leave this earth, mm. uh -huh. their evil deeds, their wicked acts. Are you are mm. talking about leaving this earth, but here on the earth. Here on the earth. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the recompense, yes, the greater recompense yeah. is after. Is to come. Is to come. But, but even but, right but now. But even right now. Yes. Because the verse says, even the righteous, they shall also see yes. the reward of the Lord in this life. Mm. Yes, in this time, but but more so, <laughs> you are correct there. Yeah, in the life to come, yes, it will be the full in, in its fullness. Yes, the recompense will be mm. in its fullness. Yes. after the judgment. 
Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. it makes me remember also uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 23. We know what yes, it says. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. For the wages of, of sin, sin is, is death. death. Yes. yes. But the gift of God is eternal life yes. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord. There is yes. recompense, right? There is recompense. There is the the wages. <laughs> that's your reward. Yes. yes. <laughs> you see. Yes. So yeah. the repayment aspect, mm. it is there. Mm. Yes. Whatever you do, God will make sure a recompense follows you. Yes. Mm. Your reward follows your actions. Yes. Whatever you would have done. Mm. But but I, I, I wanted I wanted Hebrew chapter six verse number ten. Let's go to it. Hebrews six verse ten. Verse ten. Uh, verse ten says, For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor yes. of love. Oh God <laughs> is not unrighteous. Mm. Huh? <laughs> As some may think that God is unrighteous, mm. <laughs> He is not. Read on. He cannot forget your work and your labor of love. God will not forget your labor of love, mm. which, uh -huh. you, which you have showed towards His name. Which you have showed towards the poor man. <laughs> <laughs> which you have shown towards the poor man. Yeah. In that you have ministered to the saints. You have ministered to the saints. And do minister. And you still do minister. Mm. I read it again, Pastor. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed toward his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. Right. Mm. A recompense, a reward for whatever that you do, mm. it shall bring you a reward. Yes. You wake up every day, you go to work, mm -hmm. your labor shall bring you a reward. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that reward comes quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. But whatever you do also to the Lord, the same shall cause you to have a reward yes. of what you would have done <clears throat> unto the Lord. Yes. But, but, but there is a verse which, which touches me most especially concerning this aspect. That's Galatians chapter 6. Yes. Uh, it's, it's a marvelous verse. Mm, verse 7. Verse number 7 there. Yes. Because many people are being deceived. Yes. They think whatever you do, that's what they say. <laughs> yeah. But it's shown what you do. Read verse number 7 there. Be not deceived. Do not be deceived. Mm. God is not mocked. Mm. Uh -huh. For whatsoever a man soweth, mm. that shall he also reap. Yes. Whatever you sow, mm. you will receive. Yes. Yeah. Whatever yeah. a man mm. sows, mm. that shall he also, also receive. receive. Yeah. If you sow, whatever you sow, what do you reap? The same thing you have sown mm. into the ground. Yes. That's the reason why I say, that shall he also reap. Yes. If you sow a seed of maize, uh -huh. you will get a, a maize plant. Yes. Okay. So this man in Proverbs, so let's go back to Proverbs 19, 17. Mm. Want to see the principle of sowing and reaping there. Yes. yes. Give us based the NASB. Mm. Okay. We want to see the principle of sowing and reaping. Right. One who is gracious to a poor man mm -hmm. lends to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So where is the sowing? That's being gracious to the poor man. The seed sown is you are gracious mm -hmm. to the poor man. Yes. yes. That's your seed. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you sow kindness. Mm -hmm. You sow a mercy, you saw mm. gracious uh, actions towards the poor man. Yes. What will happen? You learn to the Lord. You learn to the Lord. The Lord says, I feel obligated to, to repay you back. Yes. yes. And what happens? He will repay him. The yes. Lord will repay, will repay you. That's the fruit yes. of what you would have sown. Yes. 
So, so Paul is saying, do not be deceived. Mm. If you do not sow grace, you will not reap the good. <laughs> mm. So if you sow kindness to the poor man, yeah. you will receive good things mm. from the Lord. Mm. Yes. Mm. What if you sow evil? Hey. Kushaya hanya na poor yeah. man. Yeah. Kusada kumona, kusada kubini nae. What do you get? What do you gain? Hmm? What soever a man, man sows, sows. Mm. that shall he also reap. Rip. Rip. Yes. Yes. Verse 8 says, For he that soweth his flesh shall of the flesh the reap flesh. corruption. Mm. Mm. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap corruption. Everlasting life. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. In other words, that verse is saying the flesh will not inherit eternal life. Oh, yes. yeah. But what inherits eternal life is the spirit. Yes. Yes. Now, yes. if you sow to the flesh, mm. you will not reap eternal life. Mm. Hey. That's the reason why he said, no, it's corruption that you will get. Yes. Yes. So whatever message that we preach, mm. if that message is the, if the beneficiary of the message is your flesh, mm. you know for sure you're not going to heaven. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so in other words, you are rip, he, they, they are reaping condemnation. They are reaping condemnation. Yes. They are reaping corruption. Corruption. Mm. But if we preach the word of the Spirit, the Spirit shall bring you life. Mm. You shall reap life eternal. Amen. Amen. The principle is quite clear. Yes. It's quite clear. Yes. Pastor, Pastor Mzimba, you want to comment on that as well? Yeah. I yaga naga na we erodigan because au go ne kuno kwa jasna uchigara. Mm-hmm. Uga jigari da nyama uchakoa kuora. Saka ndaji da kuchaga tu kuseka mara kwacho kuri papi. Bos Parunzi Usanyenge Mara Asekwe. Kura de Pane Kuseka Mari Konoita through your actions. Yes. You may be mocking God, but not knowing that you are mocking God. Because if you expect to reap eternal life, and yet you have been sowing to your flesh, which is corruptible, then you are mocking God. Yes. You are actually say you are actually contradicting the principle of of harvest. You will not harvest that which you have not sown. You can't harvest what you did not sow. Yes. That which you sow is what you reap. Yes. Wonderful. Uh, thank you, Pastor, for that. And, and just a small tete tete, I want you to think about every seed yes. that you have sown. <laughs> And, and right now, somebody is actually sowing a seed. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I want you to think yes. about it. Yes. What kind of reward are you going to get from the Lord? Mm. And remember, whatever you do, never think it's not being observed by a super eye, the Lord himself. He watches every movement because he is the one obligated to repay. Mm. Yes. So he wants to see where actions have been done which deserve recompense of good. Yes. Or he wants to see wicked things done so that he may recompense according to every man's actions. Yes. Yes. So the Lord is watching <laughs> and when we say the eye of the Lord is going to and fro upon the sons of men. Mm -hmm. You must also understand that the reason for the eye of the Lord continually upon the sons of men, God is a debtor. We shall be coming uh, to discuss about the indebtedness of God mm -hmm. to the actions of a man. <laughs> yes. We, we are coming just now, but for now, think about every seed you are actually sowing. Yes. And think about the outcome. Yes. which you are also about to reap. Yes. Yes.
Yes, brethren, there is no doubt that with the Lord we shall truly reap whatever that which we saw because God's eyes actually are upon us each and every day. He observes whatever we do yes. and for what reason yes. we do it. But do you know, Pastor, uh, that even concerning concerning many other things, like, like we have servants working from their masters, mm -hmm. we see the word saying, do it as unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. For with the Lord you shall receive a prize. Yes. yes. You see. Mm -hmm. So the, the, there is so much if we are to adhere in every area, pro probably you are a wife, in the home, you truly will also receive a, a reward for whatever action that you also do. Yes. Because with the Lord, we shall receive a crown mm. or we shall receive a reward yes. for whatever we do. Yes. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6. Yes. I'll start from verse 5. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5 says, Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters, mm. according to the flesh with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Christ. Do not, it as unto Christ. Not with eye service. Not with eye service. As men please us. Uh -huh. But as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service, as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, mm -hmm. the same shall he receive of the Lord. Whatever Hallelujah. you do, mm. you will receive the same. Mm. The same shall he receive of the oh, Lord. Lord. The same. Mm. Whatever you do, mm. the same mm. you shall receive from the Lord. I wanted you to see there that whatever you do, mm. the Lord actually is watching over it. He sees it. Yes. And, and make sure you don't do things that will reward that will reward you of cases mm. and other things which are not desirable. And I wanted to ask Pastor. Yes. I wanted to ask you to What do you think you are doing? <laughs> you shall also receive a reward mm. for whatever thing that you are doing. Of mm. course, of course, uh, evangelism follow when God uh, repays, when it repay in his eyes, because Munu Yes. Guru, like, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Yes, in that, that is why it is uh, wrong for you to, to try to repay. If someone yeah. does wrong to you, mm. We are not supposed to, to repay you. Mm. Because you do not know the standard that is supposed to be used yeah. for that repay. Mm. For, for, yeah. for that repayment. Yes. But the Lord knows. Yes. The Lord we, knows. The standard that he shall use. <laughs> <laughs> because already says in the scriptures, vengeance is mine. Yeah. Vengeance is mine. He didn't say vengeance is ours. No. He said vengeance is mine. When it comes to the issue of recompense, I, the Lord, am the one who is solely responsible for, 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 for paying back. Mm -hmm. Lest, lest <laughs> we delve into matters uh, that concerns our day to day yes. and forget about the poor, the poor man, the poor, the poor person, the poor man, the poor man yes. unto whom we ought to do, uh, to, to show our kindness, yes. our mercy. Uh, we ought to be gracious to him. Yes. Because that's what uh, Proverbs 19, 17 says. Yes. But, but the aspect of now God being obligated to pay you back, mm. to pay you back. Mm. Huh? Yes. What, what would you take, what would you say, Pastor Chuma, concerning the aspect of God's indebtedness? What do I need to spare it in? <laughs> yeah, but yes, evangelists, my follow. We, we have always known that uh, 
God does not owe anyone anything. The whole world yes. is his. Yes. Yes. He has done everything over and above uh, what he could do. He has done everything. Uh, this is in terms of salvation. But when it comes to judgment, God is a debtor to render unto men what man deserves. Yes. What man deserves. Yes. yes. Because he is the one at the final end. Right. But, but let, let me show you also another verse which talks about somebody. Okay. Probably, I don't know whether he is the one, the poor man. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 27. Mm -hmm. We want to see mm -hmm. whether, whether this one is the poor man, but we see a reward there. Yes. God pronouncing judgment because yes. we have people who are trading upon the gospel of the Son of God and who say grace does not matter. Yes, verse 26. Yes. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, uh -huh. there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Mm -hmm. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fear indignation, uh -huh. which shall devour the adversaries. 28. He that despised the most law died without mess under two or three witnesses. Uh -huh. Of how much sore a punishment, suppose ye, shall ye be thought worthy, who ye the trodden underfoot the Son of God, uh -huh. and ye the counted the blood of the covenant, wherewith he was sanctified, uh -huh. an unholy thing, uh -huh. and ye done this This is a treatment to who? To the poor <laughs> man. <laughs> they trod underfoot to the Son of God. Yes. yes. And he has, he has counted the blood of the covenant, wherewith he was sanctified. Yes. And, and an holy thing. thing. Yes. Okay. And, yet and, and, and mind you, people don't say it expressly. No. Yes. With the words of their mouth. Mm. Yes. Mm. They say it, but they don't notice that mm. that's what they say. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Just like somebody who say, who keep the law. Mm. And, and when you keep the law, Paul says, you, you are saying that Christ died in vain. Yes. They don't know that they are saying Christ died in vain. Yes. If only they don't they will never admit mm. that they have said or they are trading under their foot the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they are saying the blood of the covenant is nothing. Mm. <laughs> eh? It's an unholy thing. Unholy thing. Mm. And mm. they despise the mm. spirit of grace. Mm. Mm. Yes. When they want to keep Sabbaths, when they want to to, 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 to keep the law, mm. they are despising the spirit of grace. Mm. And yet they don't know that they, that's what they are doing. Exactly. Yes. Let's see how, how do God deals with that matter. For we know him that he hath said. Now, we know him <laughs> that he said. <laughs> Vengeance belongeth unto me. Vengeance ah. belongs to me. I will recompense, says the Lord. I will recompense, says the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Right. What's happening here? We have people who are trading under their feet the Son of God. Yes. And they despise mm -hmm. the sacrifice, the mm -hmm. covenant, the blood, the mm -hmm. spirit of grace. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this is being done to Christ. Yeah. Now, because they are doing it to Christ, mm -hmm. God says, no, don't worry. Yes. Christ, don't seek to avenge for yourself. Mm, right. Remember, I am the one who said vengeance, vengeance is mine. Is mine. Mm. All that they are doing, I will make sure I will give a recompense. I will yes. repay. For why I will repay for whatever they are doing. Yes. I will recompense them. Mm. And the Lord shall judge his people. Mm. We could not go on without bringing out this verse. Yes. I don't know. I don't know, Pastor. Is this the poor man where God wants to repay those who do evil? Is he the poor man? Let's go. Uh, probably we will see as yeah. we go uh, from what we learned from the message who the poor man was. Yes. But probably, Pastor, tell us, Pastor Chuma, is he, who is the poor man? <laughs> who is the poor man? And, and how do you, why do you believe that the, the person you are going to talk about is the poor? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and before Pastor Chuma comes in, yes. verse 31 now, mm. it says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Mm. Yes. 
you are falling <laughs> into the hands of the living of God the because living of your mm-hmm. actions yes. towards our mm. Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Yes. You despise the spirit of grace mm. and God is paying you back for, what you did. for all that you have done. Yes. But I'm saying, who is the poor man? Is this one the poor man here? Let's, <laughs> let's, let me hear from Pastor Chuma. <laughs> probably probably yeah. it, will, it will come out like, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> the poor man is, is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And why would you say that? He is the poor man. The, the, the Lord is poor, is said to be poor, not, uh, we t- we're not talking about the, the, the poverty as of material things that uh, he has none because he actually uh, has the, the whole world in his hands. Y- yes, and because I, I actually wanted to say to you, Pastor, Yes, uh, if we say the Lord we are talking about the owner of the heavens and earth. Yes. Mm. Yes. How can he be poor? Yeah. How can he? <coughs> you can go ahead. Yes. So, so, in terms of material uh, things, he 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 may have seemed to be poor, but he he was not poor. Look at Matthew chapter two when the wise men came to give him some gifts yes. when uh, upon his bed, they gave him royal gifts. Yes. They gave him uh, uh, gold, uh, frankincense, and and may. Those are very, very expensive stuff. So he is not, he is not poor per se, but his poverty was on his nature. Yes. In Hebrews ch- chapter 10, verse 5, he was given oh, gold. Probably, let's read it. Hebrews yes. chapter 10, verse 5. Verse 5. Where, wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifices, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body yes, thou prepared me. Yes, so God prepared for him a mortal body. This is the one, the Lord is the one who created heaven and earth, but he's been given a mortal body. Mm-hmm. A vile body, according to Philippians chapter 3, verses, verses 20 and 21. He was given a vile body. Uh, and in, in, in the book of John chapter 4, verse 6, you'll find that he was weary. Because yes. he trapped in that body, he got weary. In John chapter 19, verses 28, you'll find that he got thirsty. In, in, and then in Matthew chapter 4, verse 2, you find that he was enhungered. He got hungry. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 8, he was crucified. Mm. This is the Lord. It is, so is the nature uh, that he took so that he can save us, so that he can die the death that will bring our salvation. That is his poverty. It was the nature of his body. Yes. Thank you, evangelist. Okay. Uh, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. I feel that I also need to read First Timothy yes. chapter 6 because the moment you yeah. spoke about the vile body, you are indicating to us that a vile body, comparing it with what? With a spiritual body, mm-hmm. with a spiritual position which he occupied. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, from verse number 15. Which in his times he shall show who is the blessed and only potentate the King of kings and Lord of hosts, who only has immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man has seen nor can see, to him be honor and power everlasting. Amen. You see, that, that yes. one is rich. It yes. brings clarity yes. Yes. Uh, mm. between mm. of what you call the vile body. Mm. Because the vile body... Yes, limitations in its operation. Yes. yes. But when a person without, who is immortal, you cannot, you cannot restrict that person mm. because he is, a, he is a spirit. Yes. And that person can own, cannot be seen as well. But look at his dwelling. He dwells in light which no human no can, approach. can approach. No man can approach that mm. light. Yes. Mm. Huh? The, that, that, that's, it talks, that's the richness. Yes. Mm. That's the richness. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So it brings, makes it very clear from what you said yes. that he was really poor in that he gave up that body. All this. Mm. And he took a body where people could see him. Yes. yes. In this <coughs> immortality he is in, no eye can see him. <laughs> no. But he took no. a body which could be seen. Yes. Huh? He, he actually exposed himself mm. to men who would even want to beat him up. Oh, yes. To touch him. Yes. To mistreat him. Yes. To do the works of uh, un unkindness unto mm. him because mm. they, they are now seeing him. Mm. Mm. So they can actually say, How are you? And, mm. and that's the simplicity in which he also came into the world with. Yes. But. but that, that's wonderful. That's, that's why that's why evangelists they said, "Is this not the carpenter's son?" Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Was he not the carpenter's son? I saw come here, me, 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 me. You go, you go, you go, you go. Eh. I see it. I think it's a metaphor. Eh. The state in which he was now, mm -hmm. and 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 that is the reason why um, the Jews when they when they dragged him, that is why they they managed to smite him. They slept him. They beat him to the power. Why? Because he was in his days of poverty. Mm. You see now. Mm. But when he took off that jacket, that mm. garment called the flesh, mm. he is untouchable. That's right. He has, That's right. He, has, he has gone into another into another form, which form you didn't have when it was here on earth. Yes, 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 indeed. Yeah. Uh, but I think we can read Second Corinthians chapter eight, chapter verse eight. nine, because yes. we want to know the transaction that took place. Yes. Because the the poor man uh, he had certain people who were gracious to him, mm. but we want to understand in context of. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yes. that though he was rich, yet for your sex he became poor. <laughs> he became poor for your sex. Uh, yes. That you through his poverty might be rich. So there was a transaction mm. that landed him into poverty. Mm. That transaction made him a poor man. Mm. So it clearly says here that he was rich. Or he, he was rich. rich. That's the yes. background. Yes. He was rich. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, that's, that's beautiful. Yes. He was rich mm. and yet chose mm. to be poor. Yes. Mm. And, and because of that poverty now, mm. which you explained about, mm. he yet to put on the flesh Paiti kama kuneta semuno aito neta o. Aga neta o. Aga to neta o. Yes. Aga tanzara. Aga to ita onzara. Aga tanyota. Sacha na aga to ya aga to ya. Wavale nzara. Shandura matomba ya chile chumba. Yes. Inguva ya utera yo yo. Yes. Wai na wurombo. Wai wone papari. Yes. Asika tichitari sa iripuma e panika. Ah. Muna kavi kirwa zesel. Frank incense. Yeah. Gold, mm. yeah. Mura, Jesse, yeah. Jacques, mm. my precious. Gifts. Yes. Mm. They were brought to him. Hati ita risira kutiti goti uyumunu muro mboi. Saka kana akapuma shaka daro. Chi chaka muita kuti ayo muro mbo. Yes, 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 yes. Let me read again Proverbs 19.17. Mm. One who is gracious to the poor person mm. lends to the Lord. Mm. Abu ita murumbo nei. Saka murumbo wese wese ere. Ndo mbuzo tuda upindura. Murumbo wese wese ere. Konzi aye wa. Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. Yati uza kuti. Akato ita murumbo ka. Aka zhitira imi. Ana kuzhitira iye kana kuti. Ana kuta murumbo. Because of his poor background. Aka zwa kwa nwa apere kwa sinaka na sent. Hmm. Vasina kana mari, vasina omende sa uchikoro, ina iya, ana kana skiu, inga muiti sa mari. Saka urompo wake, dewe kuti, aka inherita from his background. No, he was rich. Yes. He possesses all things. Yes. He created all things. Yes. And yet, 
for your sex, mm. for you and I. Yes. He chose to be poor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so ah. that we might be rich. Evangelist, I like the, the, shona, the shona, shona rendering of this scripture. It says, No kuti mno zivanyasha zaishe wedu Jesu Christu. Kuti kunyange zwake akanga ari mfumi. Asi no uda kwenyu akaba murombo. Kuitira kuti. Kuburikiza ne urombo wake imimuko ufumiswa. Ah, wonderful. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, no si disoka neta. Na yoga ya. No si disoka neta. Zwichinzi, ah, the poor man. Eh. The poor man for you, he became poor so that you can be rich. Rich. Zikan zibata murombo, usabata inini, bata kristu. No kuti akatora urombo wedu. Hey. Iwewe wawa mfumi. Kupasuara na transaction ya kaitko. Asa ya ina anonzi kusisa. Kuti transaction ya chenge ya kamira sayi. It was about us. It was about the little city you remember. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Let's see from verse 18. This wisdom have I seen under the sun. Mm-hmm. And it seemed great unto me. 14. There was a little city and a few men with, within it. Mm. And there came a great king against it mm. and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Mm. Now there was found in it a poor wise man. Mm. And he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yes. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. When a city is a poor man, it's a tragedy. Mm -hmm. and yet people will fail to honor the poor man yeah. mm -hmm. for all that the poor man ever did yes. for them. Mm -hmm. Lack of appreciation yeah. of the poor man mm -hmm is what this message was warning us about. Yes. Because as we went on, we shall see also real examples of the poor man mm. in, in type form. But, but we wanted to see the poverty. What landed this man into poverty mm. was not his background. Yes. It simply was us. Yeah. We were in a position of poverty. Yes. That's what the, the, the first Corinthians eight nine mm. says. Mm. Mm. He was rich, we mm. were poor. We us. were poor. Yes, <laughs> we were poor. It's us. Mm. Yes. So a transaction was for us to be rich. Mm. Mm. Ah, wonderful. Rich in grace, rich in mercy, mm. rich in in the things of heaven. Yes. yes. Rich in knowledge. Rich mm. in faith. Rich in faith. Mm. And when we become rich, yeah. we have access to heaven. Amen. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. he was rich and we were poor. Yes. Equally, the city mm. was in trouble. Yes. This small city was in trouble. Mm. And yet, the presence of this poor man mm. within the city, not only poor, but he was wise, mm. Mm. is what delivered the city yes. from this state. Huh? But evangelist yes. and Pastor Juma, have you also seen here that uh, what Apostle Paul said in the book of Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse nine? Mm -hmm. He said, "For by for by the grace of God, we know that mm -hmm. even Christ, even though Christ was rich, yeah. but for your sakes he became, he became poor, poor. Mm -hmm. so that through his poverty mm -hmm. we may be made rich." Yes. And then evangelists went to the book of, of Ecclesiastes, mm. where we see that this great king mm. he had besieged the little city, mm. wherein were few men. Mm. So where did this, this poverty which we had, mm. which this poor man wanted to, to extirpate us from mm. through his poverty, how did it come, I mean, how did we receive that poverty? Is because of the of the strong bulwarks, mm. which the the great king had erected. Yes. Because 
these strong bulwarks represent sin. Mm -hmm. So it was because of this sin which was in us, which made us to be poor in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. Another question, in what dimension were we poor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of charlatans or scoundrels have <laughs> amassed, <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> stolen a lot of money from the simple people. Yeah. Because what was always asked, so if we go to the book of Matthew chapter 5, Pastor Chuma. Okay. Yes. Matthew 5, verse number, number 3, what does it say? And Vangir probably may go to the book of, of Colossians chapter one, chapter two, verse one to three. We just need to see. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are the poor. Mm. Yes. Yes. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For theirs the kingdom of heaven. Again, the issue of reward. Mm. Those that are poor in spirit are going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. You see mm. now. Yes. Yes. What happened is <laughs> naturally because yes. they were besieged yeah. and bulwarks mm. had been built yes. all around it. Mm. Yes. No one could go out to trade. No. Yes. No one could go out to farm. Yeah. Amen. They became poor yes. and depended. Mm. They depended on the mercy of the one who built the poor. Yes. Who and as a result, who is evil. <laughs> yeah, he, he was wicked and evil. Okay. Yes. Saka Takaoni Patine Urombo, as Pastor is saying. Takaoni Patine Urombo, because Apana Rundo Shanta Kuchakamari, Apana Paisa Kutengesa, all that we can do, our survival depended on the one who came and a conquered us and yes. build the bulwarks. Yes. The oppressor. <laughs> the oppressor. Yes. And we depend on him in anything, yeah. all things. Saka do boga bauro mbe koko. Saka uyu mupfumu. Aka puma poor man uyu. Aka puma. Even Panunzi, a poor man was in the city. Mm. He was rich in wisdom. Ah, Let's not yes. forget that. Oh, yes. mm. He oh, was yes. rich in wisdom. Oh, yes. yes. Because he was poor but wise. Yes. Mm. He had that wisdom. Mm. And, and, and because of that wisdom, he managed actually to, 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 to rescue the little to make To make a, <laughs> something to deliver uh, us. But when you look into the aspect of our deliverance, yes. it's not the wisdom. Mm. But you see the working of wisdom because wisdom made itself like foolishness. Okay, okay. It, he portrayed a foolish state. Yes. Oh, yes. so far, we have not seen that 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 we have not Yes. Mm -hmm. But but uh, yes, Pastor, I, I know you mentioned Colossians there, but I wanted us also to, to, to move on into other aspects of this poverty. Yes. Uh, and also the city. Uh, because we understand that the poor man delivered the city mm. using a very strange weapon. Mm. Mm. Wisdom. What wisdom did the poor men use to save the little city? Yes. What wisdom? Yes. <laughs> or what tool did the poor men use to deliver the city? Yes, Pastor Chu. Yes. Yes, it's the, 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 the wisdom that the, that the poor men used is the simplicity of Christ, the simplicity of the gospel. And Apostle Paul talks about it 
when he writes to the Corinthian church, the simplicity of Christ. He came with simplicity. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and because of that simplicity, no one ever guessed Mm -hmm. that this simplicity will mm -hmm. result in our freedom. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Pastor Mzim. Yeah, it's very true. The Lord intending to deliver us firstly from the grip of sin. He left the heaven. He manifested in a board. And he, he, he hid himself inside that mortal board so that uh, you could be crucified in weakness for us to be delivered from this, um, uh, from this menacing king. Mm -hmm. That was also his, his simplicity. That was also his simplicity. And we also see here uh, his wisdom. His wisdom also manifested in him coming into the board, mm -hmm. manifesting in the board of men. So if you go to the book of, of Philippians chapter 2, he took upon himself the form of a servant. You see? What did he want to achieve? In that fashion, in that form, he wanted to deliver us from the power of sin. He wanted to, to rescue the few men which were in that little seat, which is this, this earth. So there was no way in which he could deliver us from sin. If he had not come in the flesh, why? Because the sin was not in the spirit of the sons of Adam, but it was in their flesh. She vichanga chiri munyama. Saka ishe zvadoti e ishe awe munyama. Kutika na awe munyama manji. Agona kuzo defeater sin an munyama. Ndo pata kuna uchangiru wage. Mabona vange. Yes. Ndo pata kuna uchangiru wage. So pastor, that's why in Second Corinthians 11, Yes. Uh, Paul says, but I fear, 11 verse 3, mm. but I fear less by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety. Mm. So your minds should be corrupted from yes. the simplicity that is in Christ. Yes. Yes. So, Apostle Paul said, what is the simplicity, not the simplicity of Paul, no, but the simplicity of, of Christ. Christ. But this simplicity of Christ, through one of these, our symbol is Christ. Mm. But the point, firstly, that I want to drive home okay. is when he was in the flesh. All right. The reason why Christ came in the flesh, he wanted to defeat sin. Yes. So he took the, the, the nature, he didn't take the nature of angels, mm -hmm. but he took upon himself the nature of Abraham, mm -hmm. according to, to, to Hebrews chapter 2, mm. from verse 14. Yeah. Downwards, mm. but if we look at if if we look at the book of Romans chapter eight, Pastor Juma. Yes. Romans chapter eight, uh, verse number three. Yes. Romans chapter eight, verse number three. For what the law could not do. For what the law could not do. In that it was weak. So the law the flesh. was weak because of the flesh. The flesh. But apparently, when the Lord gave the law in Exodus twelve, in Exodus mm. chapter chapter twenty. But in Jesus chapter 19, 19, he gave the law in, in strength. He used his strength. In power. He, yes, he used yes. his power, he used mm. his strength right. to give the law to the nation of Israel, mm. which, was, which, which was witnessed by uh, the blackness that we saw, which was witnessed by, by, by the massive vibrations, by the earthquakes. Yes. And yet sin continued to dominate <laughs> over mankind. Yes. You yes. see now. Mm -hmm. So Apostle Paul is saying, sin was in the flesh, mm -hmm. but the law was weak, mm -hmm. not because of sin. But because of the flesh. You, uh, repeat that scripture, first, verse 3. For what the law could not do. For it, what the law could not do. So the law failed to accomplish what it was supposed to achieve. In that it was weak through the flesh. The law was weak through the flesh. Mm. The flesh was the residence of sin, of mm. the boards. Mm. But the law was found one in. Mm. Yes? God, by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Now that God wanted to defeat sin, he sent, he introduced the assignment of the poor man. 
he introduced his son into the world. Yes. How did he manifest? In the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. He came in the likeness mm. of the sinful flesh. He was not a sinner himself. No. He came in the likeness yes. of the sinful, of the flesh. sinful mm. flesh. Mm. Yes. And for sin. Then and for sin. Condemned sin in the flesh. He condemned sin in the flesh. Mm. Okay, that's, that was the wisdom that he used. That's the wisdom mm. he used. Uh, because verse 16 of Ecclesiastes 9 says, Then said I, mm. Wisdom is better than strength. Yes. <laughs> wisdom is better than strength. Yes. So, what we see in manifestation, mm. even according to Romans chapter 3, verse 3, Romans chapter 8, verse 3, which yes. we read. Yes. And also, when we go to the second Corinthians chapter 13, verse, four. verse number 4. Yes. Yes, you can read that. Yes. 2 Corinthians 13, verse 4. For though he was crucified through weakness, mm -hmm. uh -huh. yet he liveth by the power of God. He lives by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, uh -huh. but we shall live with him by the power of God. We shall him. also live with him by the power of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I wanted the aspect... He was crucified through weakness. Yes. through weakness. So for him to deliver the city, mm. for him to deliver us, mm. he had to employ weakness yes. as a tactic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me be at my least position. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let yeah. them be able to touch me and mm. to crucify me. Yes. Mm. Let them be able even to take my body to the grave. Let mm. them put it into mm. the grave. Yes. He was crucified in weakness. in weakness. Yes. But what was needed was the wisdom. Mm. Yes. Mm. Because yes. the poor wise men, the poor men in the city needed wisdom mm. to deliver the city. Yes. 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 But here is the problem. Mm. When he has he had used that wisdom, mm. everybody denied the poor men. Yes. Everybody rejected the poor man. Mm. They said, no, nobody took uh, regard to the poor man. As mm. you said concerning the, uh, yes, we, we can go back to it, Second Corinthians chapter 11, uh, where you read, verse, you read. Yes, yeah, Second Corinthians 11, verse 3. Mm. Yes. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, mm. so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. So there is a simplicity in Christ. Mm. Your mind can also be corrupted mm. through that simplicity. Mm. And the simplicity, that's what we were explaining, yes. uh, that, oh no, he came in the flesh. Yes. Mm. But there is more to that because mm. look here, Yes. Pastors, mm. yes. Paul is afraid. Mm. Mm. He is saying, I fear, yes. lest by any means, mm. as the serpent beguiled Eve mm. through his subtlety, mm. Mm. so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity of Christ. Yeah. Why would you think, or why would you try to marry these two comparisons? Mm of Paul in his statement. He is saying, look, the serpent in the, in the Garden of Eden beguiled Eve. Yeah, deceived Eve, yes. Deceived Eve. Mm. I'm afraid you too may be corrupted oh, yes. from the simplicity mm. that is in Christ. In Christ yes. yeah, and I'm saying, how come Paul is bringing <coughs> these two together? Mm. The event in the Garden and also the simplicity of Christ. You, you, you want to answer that, Pastor Mziba? Uh, I just want to ask you something. Yes, I'm trying to answer. Mm. Both when you look at, at Adam, when you look at Eve, we see Adam as a picture of Christ. We see Eve as a picture of, uh, of the Church of Christ. So if the, the serpent is to is to beguile or to deceive. It can only deceive or he can only deceive. 
the church. So my question is, yet Eve paid heed or yet Eve uh, listened to what Adam taught her. Because when God gave the law to Adam, Eve was not there. Mm -hmm. It was the duty of Adam to teach Eve what God had instructed. Yes. But did Eve understand or did Eve receive what her husband had taught her? Okay. Because if she had fully received what Adam taught her, mm. which had come from God, mm -hmm. the serpent was, not, was never going to, to succeed mm -hmm. in deceiving Eve. So in other words, what you are saying, Pastor, is there was a choice of two preachers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there was a choice of two preachers to mm. Eve. Yeah. And, and when we see Adam being a teacher to Eve, yes. we are also see, seeing the devil mm. being a teacher to Eve. Mm. Yes. Both came and had access to Eve. Yes. And, and the betrayal of Eve, <laughs> I don't know what she looked at or what she saw at the serpent. Yes. Mm. <laughs> thereby despising Adam her husband <laughs> <laughs> the simplicity of Christ <laughs> so, so Akati, uh, this one looks like a preacher <laughs> and not my husband my husband I don't even think that God speaks to him <laughs> then, then she, she rejected she rejected the true preacher yeah. and he chose a, a spiritual now like double <laughs> and she chose she chose the serpent yeah. and the simplicity of Christ is coming in this manner yes. look I Paul <laughs> I am a messenger, a true messenger yes, of Christ. Yes. I'm coming to you with the gospel of mm. salvation. Mm. But my fear is mm. God has done something mm. to hide himself. Yes. His gospel comes in simplicity of form. Mm. And this, of course, happened after the resurrection. We talk about him rising again. Yes. But he comes to us with a message now. Mm. But the message is in Paul, mm. the message is in Baloy, mm. the message is in Chuma, the message is in Erengu, the message is in Muzimba. All of them, they are coming. Yes. Do you know one day somebody say, ha, but it's my pastor's church going to do so. <laughs> somebody <laughs> was frank enough to say, my pastor's church going to so. <laughs> ah, I should that, I should knock that. Yes. I should knock that, I should that. Because we were used to the seated kind of preaching. <laughs> when he stands up in front of you, you will say, Hallelujah, glory. <laughs> glory to God Almighty. But the one standing before yes. you, <laughs> mm. but God is inside. Yes. Inside the one you are despising. But Yes, and, and to that evangelist, if mm. you go to the book of First Corinthians chapter one, yes. verse twenty-six, uh -huh. the apostle says, "For you see your calling, brethren, uh -huh. how that not many wise men after the flesh, no many mighty, not many noble are called, but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world." to confound the things which are might, and the best things of the world, and the things which are despised, mm. yet God chosen, yea, and the things which are not, to bring to nothing, the word not there means nothing, nothing to yes. bring to, no, to, to nothing mm. things that are. Mm. You see it now. Yes. Okay. So, yes, we may, be, we may look, uh, uh, we may be despised in the sight of men, that's mm -hmm. why God is using us. Mm -hmm. That's his simplicity now. He's hiding the gospel. He's, he's now hiding in, in, inside uh, another Ethan vessel. In, in the Ethan vessel. Yeah. So when and, you see and the, it reminds me of 2 <laughs> Corinthians chapter 4, verse, verse 7. 7. Yes. 
Yes, for we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Yes. That yes. the excellence of the power mm. may, be, may of be of God and not of us. Yes. Ah, wonderful. Huh? Mm. <laughs> so the Lord comes in simplicity, mm. but his simplicity is a deception to others. Mm. Mm. Mas pasta, é a meita uma pasta. Vou te dar a mira, não vou nem vou te dar a mira. Saca, saca, saca. Do uma pasta, ninguém vai te chamar igual. A vacha chama que pasta, a ninguém aí nem show coro mambo. That the excellence may be of God, not of man. Yes. But you can know we are the recipient, imagine it. We are the mira. You know we are the excellence is of the recipient, and not of God. Mm. Mm. As, a, as, as a result, we lose many. Yes. Just like Eve was also deceived. Mm. Mm. Evangelist, my fellow, and we did a discussion of uh, the, 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 the puzzle I gesture. Uh, we've got some believers following uh, us through on the live chat here on, on YouTube, and uh, Brethren Hope. Nyagujara says that uh, the poor man anopa ota kutumakate azadwe achinje mvura kuita wine. Mm. Uh, Tinasti one NS says ukaona David otiza Absalom. Usafunga kuti utera, utera kwete uh, ausi kubata kuti David was poor for a season. Season yacho inonzi operation rescue the city. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I, I'm very sure that uh, the believers are, are keen to, to bring their answers to the homework that mm. we, we, they were given as well by, 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 my, by yes. my, yes. Yes, indeed. So. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Evangelist wonderful, and Pastor. Wonderful Hill. contribution okay. there. Uh, <laughs> yes, Pastor. I've Hill. been looking at, may you go to the book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 40, 49. Uh, because the Lord is saying, uh, uh, through Solomon in Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter, chapter 9, this, this poor wise man used the wisdom to rescue the few men which were in the city. But we want to see, because whenever the Lord wants to, want to rescue the, 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 the little city, he introduces the poor man into the world. But we would want to see how God introduced this poor man into the world after the resurrection. Mm -hmm. How he was going to achieve that? Luke 11, verse 49, what does it say, Pastor John? Therefore also said the wisdom of God. Therefore also said the, the wisdom. wisdom of God. So the wisdom of God apparently speaks. Speaks. Yes. <laughs> Mm. I will send them prophets and ah. apostles. So said the wisdom of God. I mm. will send mm. the prophets. I will send apostles. apostles. And so the word prophets and apostles is simply talking about the apostles, yes. but also the other past, the other ministers, they are inside the apostles, because yes. they are born out of the apostles. Mm. Yes. Yes. And some of them they shall slay and persecute. Some of them, they are not going to, to be gracious to the poor man who is now hiding inside mm. these prophets, inside these apostles. They are going to, to many hand or some and kill them and persecute them. Mm. Yes? That the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, yes. which perished between the altar and the temple. Yes. yes. Very I say unto you. Yes, yes. Pastor, I, it's fine. I think, it's fine. I think it's that's, fine. That's uh, the wisdom of God displayed there. Yes. That's what he said. I will send them mm -hmm. men in yes. the flesh. Yes. They are apostles, they are prophets. Yes. But inside them, there is treasure. There's treasure. Yes. There's treasure. Mm. So there's treasure in the earthen vessels. I will do the detailing because. Yeah. 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 
Very wonderful. But one of the major <laughs> takeaways that led us to Basilai uh, actually was Matthew chapter 25, yes. where, where Amai explored a lot. And we saw great, great things from there. Yes. Uh, chapter 25, from yes. verse 31 to 46. We learned quite a lot concerning the sheep and the gods. Yeah. Uh, yes. What, what a delight it was. <laughs> but one. but, but what, mm. what criteria? Yes. So probably let me start with that, Pastor Chuma. What criteria did God choose mm. in his selection? Whether, because, because on his coming, he shall separate the gods from the sheep from the gods. Yes. And mm. he will put the sheep on the right, the gods on the left. Mm. But, but what criteria was used? This the criteria I used here is, is wisdom. Uh, evangelism I follow. Verse 35 says, For I was in hungry, and in you hungry. gave me meat. Okay. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. Uh -huh. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Uh -huh. I was naked, and you clothed me. I okay. was sick, and you visited me. Let's look at verse 40. Verse 40 says, mm. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done it, Unto one of the least of these, my uh, brethren. Read verse 39. Or oh, when so we. I wanted his response to the other group. Yes. So, so in verse 39, uh, they, they are asking the question When saw we this sick or in prison and came unto thee? Uh -huh. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Well, I say unto you, inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren. You have done it unto me. Mm -hmm. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, this mm -hmm. is the other group now, mm -hmm. depart from me, mm -hmm. you cast mm -hmm. into everlasting fire, mm -hmm. prepared, prepared for the devil mm -hmm. and his angels. Mm -hmm. Because I was hungry, I was hungry, and you gave me no meat. You gave me no meat. I was thirsty, I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. No drink. I was a stranger, stranger, and you took me not, took in. Me not in. Naked, naked, and you clothed me not. You did not clothe sick. Me. See, and in prison, in prison, and you visited you me did not. Visit not. Mm -hmm. So, what criteria did the Lord use? Huh? Yes. What criteria? Yes. Truly, a yes. certain manner of mm -hmm. people was mm -hmm. rejected mm -hmm. by God, mm -hmm. but clearly the criteria was stated. You did yeah. not give me food. Yes. You did not mm -hmm. give me meat. Yes. I was a stranger, did not accommodate me. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was in prison, did not visit. Me. They were not compassionate to him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this man? Because they never saw him. Remember, we are talking about the simplicity of Christ. Yes. They never saw him in person. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and yet they saw the little ones. Mm. Yes. One of these little ones. They saw them. Mm. And they could not deny when the Lord said, inasmuch as you have done it to the, one of these little ones, yes. you have done it unto me. Unto they me. did not contest mm. because they know Muzimba was truly around. Mm. We saw him mm. and we know what we did to him. Mm. A rainbow was around. Mm. We, saw, we saw him and we did what we wanted with him. Mm. Yes. They could not contest what they did yes. to the preacher. Mm. Yes. But had he come in his form, mm. they would not have done anything to him. Yeah. Mm. Now, but this this was used as a criteria, Pastor Juma. Mm. Yes. To select whether you are a god or, or you a are sheep. a sheep. A sheep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Iri <laughs> <laughs> so the whole story it went on and on mm -hmm. but the criteria was was 
so, 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 just like that. Yes. It went on and on, and we saw living examples, mm. Mm. like the example of Nabal. Yes. That yes. Amai took us to. Yes. And, and the example of Abigail. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which we also saw, and yeah. the grand example of Basil. In all age. these cases, mm. one thing was common. Mm. It was what? <laughs> the food and drink. Yeah, food and drink and being gracious to yes. the poor man. Yes. It was being gracious to the poor man. Mm. It was a food. Mm. It was a bread. Mm. Mm. But let's see uh, the example of, of, of uh, Nabal. I think Nabal. Yeah. Yes. Chapter, chapter 25, 25 of yes. Samuel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So this number, this number nine. And when David's young men came, mm -hmm. they said, uh, We started from verse eight. Ask that young man. That was the request. The young men have been sent are being sent by David, yes. Mm. Ask thy young men, and they will show thee. Wherefore, Lord, the young men find favor in thine eyes. Uh -huh. For we come in a good day. Yes. Give, I pray thee, whatsoever cometh to thine hand, unto thy servants, uh -huh. and to thy son David. Uh -huh. And when David's young men came, they spake to Nabal according to all the words in the name of David, and ceased. Uh -huh. And Nabal answered David's servants and said, who is David <laughs> and who is the son of Jesse? Uh -huh. There be many servants now, now a days that break away every man from his master. Mm -hmm. Shall I then take my bread? So he's taking David as a breakaway from Saul. Yes. yes. He's saying, uh, You are young men, you are running away from Saul. Mm. Go and submit to your master. Mm. Uh -huh. Shall I take my bread and my water and my flesh? Shall I take my bread, my water, my flesh? That I have killed for my shearers uh -huh. and give it unto men. Shall I give it to unto your men? Whom mm. I know not whence they I be. don't even know them. Mm. I don't even <laughs> know where they are from. Uh. Huh? <laughs> Do you see? It, it, th th this is it. Yeah. Let's go to verse number 18. <laughs> Let's see what Abigail did. Then Abigail made haste and took 200 mm. loaves and two bottles of wine and five sheep ready dressed and five measures of pitched corn, and a hundred clusters of raisins, and two hundred cakes of figs, and laid them on asses. And she said unto her servants, Go on before me. Behold, I come after you. But she told not her husband, Nabal. Mm -hmm. And it was so, as she rode on the ass, that mm -hmm. she came down by the covert of the hill. And behold, David and his men came down against her, I, she, I just wondered what she took. What yeah. did she take verse 18 again? Uh, she took 200 loaves. 200 loaves. And two bottles of wine. Two bottles of wine. Five sheep ready dressed. Five sheep ready dressed. And five measures of pitched corn. Yes, that's what. So, so, you see, David is coming to them, and the only thing they need, he needs mm. with his men, is food. food. Mm. Mm. Give us food. Yes. Give us a drink. Yeah. Do us good. That's yeah. all that we require. Mm. Yeah. And only Abigail answered to the demand of David. Yes. And yet her husband, mm. who is an Israelite, rejected <laughs> the offer and cursed David in the face hey. of he, because the words were to David. Go and tell your master. You see, mm. so many servants are running away from their masters. <laughs> <that place>. Yeah. <laughs> you see that. <laughs> but we can go on also to Basilai. Mm. Yes. And the same situation mm. uh, there, we see how in verse 29 of 2nd is Samuel Samuel chapter 17. 17. Yes. What did they bring? We can, we can start to read from verse 28. 
brought it, birds uh-huh. and persons uh-huh. and earthen vessels uh-huh. and wheat uh-huh. and barley uh-huh. and flour uh-huh. and patched corn uh-huh. and beans uh-huh. and lentils uh-huh. and patched pulse uh-huh. and honey uh-huh. and butter uh-huh. and sheep and cheese of kind for David and for the people that were with him to eat. For they said, the people is hungry and weary and thirsty in the wilderness. The people are hungry and weary and thirsty in the wilderness. Mm. And what was the criteria? Because what we are looking here is, we are looking at the criteria. We go back to Matthew 25. Yes. What is the criteria? Chapter 25, Matthew, verse number, verse number, I wonder why both, both, both the cases chapter are in chapter 25. <laughs> Matthew chapter 25, <laughs> verse 35. Yes. Uh huh. I was in hungry, and Basil said, Ah, for the people mm. are what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hungry. Mm. So I was hungry, did not give me food to mm-hmm. eat. So this, this became the criteria yes. in all those men yes. Mm. Yes. that we are dealing with. And mm-hmm. Basil, in specific, mm-hmm. because he is the, actually the title of the message. Yes. He, I was hungry, and you gave me meat. I was right. thirsty, you gave me drink. Mm-hmm. I was a stranger and you took me in. Yes. 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 So that is, God did not hide. Yes. So the most important thing for us to understand is how vital is that aspect of you having bread mm. or you giving and ministering to David with your bread? Mm. 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 Yes, yes uh, uh, Evangelist Mafolo, uh, I'm being blessed by this review. Yes, it's, it's very, very vital to be gracious to the poor man. Uh-huh. And the poor man is still amongst us today. Because this parable in Matthew chapter 25, as we learned during that teaching, applies to the Lord after his ascension to heaven. Uh-huh. And so the Lord is still appearing as a poor man. Mm-hmm. by using the ministers of the gospel. Uh-huh. And uh, he is inside the ministers inside of the, the gospel, ministers. in the person of the Holy Spirit, yes. Yes. in the dimension of the Holy Spirit. So it's very, very vital now to give the ministers of the gospel food and drink, because when you do that, you lend to God, according to Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. And he, when he repays, he repays. Nobody knows what eternal life. And 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 somebody may think that we are saying this because probably the ministers are the poor men. No. Pastor, in what way, uh, Pastor Mzimba, mm. in what way are the ministers uh, discarded as the poor men? Yeah. Yeah. The ministers of the gospel of Christ are not the poor men. They can't be. They will never be the poor man. The poor man is Jesus Christ. Mm. That position will not change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For, for two reasons. The first reason is according to chapter chapter 9 of, of Ecclesiastes, the poor man is wise. Mm-hmm. And according to First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24, wisdom is Christ. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ is, the, is, is what we call wisdom. Mm-hmm. Number two, the role or the, the responsibility of the poor man is to rescue the few men that are in, the little, in a little city. And those people that he rescues, they belong to him. Mm-hmm. So as preachers, we are not this poor man. Number one, we were also rescued. We are part of the people who were rescued, we were rescued from the little city. Yes. So the poor that man, is what the, the, the greatest point <laughs> about the poor man is, it's about his rescue mission. Rescue mission, uh, his assignment. No rescue mission, you don't qualify. You don't qualify, yes. It doesn't matter you are poor. Mm. Your poverty is not as a result of a rescue mission. Yes. <laughs> yes. You are only poor because your parents did not uh, <laughs> give you money or resources. Yes. 
You yes. are poor because of other reasons. Yes. But the poor men became poor because of the mission. Yes. Mm. And, and even when we look at David, who is mm. the type of Christ, mm. do you see, Pastor Chuma, that it was not about his own life? Remember, mm. there are so many good things about David we may oh, talk yes. about. Yeah. Yes. But probably as you wrap up on that, on David, you may give us, Pastor Chuma, yes. probably three, if you manage, or four mm. things that we see on David, which we say, ah, this David could not be poor, but it mm. was for this reason. He was number one, mm. this, and number two, that, number three, that. He could not be the poor. But what I see the poverty in David, mm. it is because of the rescue mission. Mm. Yes. What do you say? Yes, uh, David is, uh, is, the poor, is the poor man. Uh, when when you, you you look at him going to to to, to battle against Goliath in First First Samuel chapter seventeen, mm. he is a little boy. He is a shepherd boy, mm. and he looks very vulnerable. He looks frail, uh, he, but he goes against the, the giant mm -hmm. that has been troubling Israel for a for a for a long time, and they are hiding from him, and he slays the giant just like that. Mm. So he looks. He he is the poor man. He represents our Lord. Uh, Jesus Christ in the days of his flesh where he looked vulnerable because he was made a little lower than the angels yes. so that he can be manhandled by Israel and become a sacrificial lamb and, 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 and be sacrificed, sacrificed on that cross to be a sin offering. So David is the poor man there. But we know that David is not poor because David is a, is a prophet. He's a prophet. David is a patriarch. He's a patriarch. David has Holy Spirit. In First Samuel chapter 16, verse 13, he was actually anointed uh, uh, with a horn of oil, which was an, a, a symbolism of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. And when you look at the, the humility of David, and even, even when, he is, when he has sinned, how he comes back to confess before God, in repentance, if we, if, if we read Psalms chapter 51, verses, verses 4 and verse 17, he talks about a, a contrite heart the Lord will not despise. He is so humble. And this man is the poor man, mm. but he is not poor. Mm. He is not a poor. Rich. Yes, 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 indeed. Mm. Uh, uh, that, 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 that was quite, quite a, a response. Indeed. David was never poor. Yes. He can only be poor in terms of the rescue mission. Yes. yes. He's going out there mm. and he's running away from Saul, mm. leaving everything behind mm. yes. because he wants to rescue the people. Yes. yes. And, and that, that was very, uh, very correct. Yes. And we, Pastor Mzimba, look, look at the list because, because look at the words. Mm. When you did not do it to the least yes. of these, mm. my, my brethren, brethren. Yes. what do you take about that? The least of my brethren. Yeah. And, and, and what does it really mean? And, and do we have any support of Scripture? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a very good question, my, my, my young fellow, if I need my follow. As Pastor Shuma had said, and also according to what the Lord said in the scripture, in this parable, these people that did good uh, to the Lord, they didn't do it to the Lord in person because they never met the Lord. But the Lord then said, when you did it uh, to this list of my brethren, mm -hmm. you did it unto me. The list of the brethren to Christ refers to the, to the preachers of the gospel, mm -hmm. to the ministers, mm -hmm. or, or predominantly to the, to the apostles, but also it also encompasses the whole board of ministers, because the pastors, the evangelists, and the, the teachers of the word, they are products of the apostolic assignment. Mm -hmm. We are the products of this assignment. So these list ones, they refer to the, to, the, to the preachers of the gospel, you see now. And there are a lot of scriptures that we can use 
to support this. Probably may, if we may need to go to the book of First uh, First Corinthians chapter fifteen. First Corinthians chapter fifteen. We we have First Corinthians chapter fifteen. Yes, we also have Second Corinthians chapter four. Yes. Uh -huh. Verse five. Verse five. Verse five. Yes, you may also go to the book of uh, of maybe eleven twenty five. Mm -hmm. Maybe you may read, you may read, you may read that one, Pastor Chima. Which one? Pastor? Eleven twenty five of the book of Matthew. Yes. Matthew eleven twenty five. Yes. At that time, Jesus answered and said, Yes. I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, Yes. because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Yes. So the babes here, they are not referring to, to little children or to, to kids in the flesh, but these are ministers. Why? He was talking actually, actually to the apostles. To the apostles there. He was addressing the apostles. He was, he was addressing the apostles. And they are the ones <laughs> who are the little ones. Yes. And they are the ones yes. unto which yes. the mysteries of Christ yes. are to be revealed. They are to be revealed. Yes. So th they are the babes. They are the least ones. They are the little ones which the Lord was referring to in the book of, uh, in that parable in Matthew chapter 15. Mm -hmm. But you may also you may also read. But but, but Pastor Pastor Mzimba, yes. I I also was looking at the message and I noted mm. uh, this this great principle as well mm. because we are in this world and mm. when we look at Matthew twenty five, we are looking at the end of the world. Yes, yes. God will repay. Mm. Yes, at the end of the world and this example we saw concerning the sheep and the God. Yes. It's about judgment, yes. yes, which is coming, yes, and we warn every man that judgment is coming, it's coming, mm. yes, and mm. and the Lord shall repair, shall repay, shall recompense mm. whatever you do mm. uh, concerning His Son. But yes. but I, there is this one thing, yes, that even the children who are watching, you may participate in it, but you may participate. Wherever you are and discuss, probably on the chat here, you may put your answers. The, 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 the situations, or what, what can I say? Uh, things that you shall be required to account. Right? Yes. Because God shall require an account of you. Yes. And, and to Nabal, he was a man in his riches. Mm -hmm. The word is clear. Nabal, who sits on his riches, mm. he, he had the resources. Mm -hmm. What are the things we are to account to God yes. on that day? Yeah. Do yeah. you know the things that you shall be required by heaven to account on? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. asking this to you, and I'm asking those things to us here. Yes. But, but yeah. of the greatest, it is life. Yes, life. Of the greatest, it is life. How, yes. how did you conduct your life mm. here yes. on earth? Yes. Yeah. Life is a gift of God. Yes. And how mm. old are you now? Mm. Of all the age, of all the years that you have lived under the sun, yes. if you are to account to God, if God shall require of you on that mm. day, yeah. what will your account be like? And I made us to see that even preachers, mm. we shall account for all the sheep. Yes. Even the Lord in John chapter 17, when he was praying, mm. he mm. said, I lost mm. none, all mm. that you have given to me. Mm. Yes. I lost none except mm. the son of perdition. Mm. That the scripture may be fulfilled. Right. Mm. So, so, an account mm -hmm. shall be required. Mm. And I want to know, are you aware of any area that the Lord shall require? Of you and, and Pastor Chuma, you on the chat. I think the children are already answering on that. Uh, but Pastor, Pastor Mzimba, what are the you can just itemize? Yeah, there are quite many. There are quite them. many things that we can. You, 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 you mentioned. Heaven shall require of yes, us. Yes, the earth shall, shall be demanded to, to account. Uh -huh. You mentioned the life. Uh -huh. There is also time. How did yes. you spend? Yes. How did you spander your resource called life? Yes. Mm -hmm. we, okay. may, we may also look at uh, the energy that the Lord has given us. The energy. The energy. You, you are <laughs> a young man now. Yes. Save the Lord in the day. Yes. Of the Lord. Mm. 
of it, it, your youth. Of your youth is, so yeah. the days of your youth will not come again. <laughs> yes. yes. You have a resource called yeah. energy yes. as a youth. Mm. And that shall be required of you yes. to account. Yes. Yeah. What shall you account on that day? Yes. Yes. There is also the issue of resources. Resources the in Lord the is, case of Naba. Yes, Naba was very rich. Na, he was very rich. Yeah, but how did he where did he channel his resources? Yeah. You see. That's, okay. a, that's why he was he was destroyed by God. And you we may go on and yeah, on. The we may see standard. also positions in themselves in, the in society. Yes. Mm. You know, myself <laughs> being being a father in my own home, mm. to my house, to my household, mm. I am a father. Mm. Do I know that one day I shall account? Mm. Ah, then Ephesians chapter two, chapter six, he says, ah, mm. "Children, honor your parents yes. in the Lord." Yeah. Yeah. But he also says then that you parents do not do not what he said. Do not mistreat your children. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. in any order of God mm -hmm. you shall need to account. You yes. are a wife to your husband. Mm -hmm. Yes. You shall need to account mm -hmm. how did you how were you a faring mm -hmm. as a wife? Mm -hmm. You are a president, a president of a nation. That position yes. is a great position. Mm -hmm. yes. How did you fare? How did you who? Yeah. All those things. You shall be required to give an account. Yes. But yeah. your only life matters because you are an individual. Mm -hmm. The things that you shall be required to Pastor Chum. Yes, uh, we, we, we've got believers uh, contributing as, as well to your question, the evangelism I follow. Uh, what are we going to account for? And Proverbs Paraza quotes Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, which reads, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, uh -huh. that everyone may receive the things done in his body uh -huh. yes. according to that he has done, uh -huh. whether it be good or bad. Whether it be good uh -huh. or bad. Yes, and Fungai Chatukuta says, first of all is time and also our substances. Uh -huh. And the prowess comes back and says, we shall account for the life which we lived on the earth in the flesh. Bombshell says, our resources like money, like mm -hmm. energy of yours in physical, Kutoshumira, Chaiko Gunamari, we shall give an account. And yes. uh, lastly, Brethren Munashe, Muchenje says we will have to account for our strength, physical, mental, and financial strength. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes, Vanavaruku yes. follower. Yes, we thank God for that. <laughs> but, but there is also this one thing yes. concerning the poor man. Hmm. We see. We see the Lord taking the position of repayment. Yes. I will repay, I will repay, I will recompense. Yes. But what if he, David he had gone on to seek justice yes. from Nabal? Was there going to be a violation in any way of whether the principles of God or I don't know? <laughs> yes. Was there going to be a violation yeah. of the principles? Yes, there was going to be a violation. We have already covered a, a, a little bit of that when the Lord says, vengeance is mine. Yes. Vengeance belongs to God. Yes. I will repay. I will recompense. I will repay. Yes, I will recompense. So yes. it's, not, it's not David who is supposed to repay Nabal. And, mm -hmm. and God used Abigail to stop David from violating that, uh -huh. that principle. Uh -huh. Otherwise, David was determined to do it. So it's God who repays. It's when, God who When repays. someone is gracious to the poor man, they learn to God. When someone is not gracious to the poor man, they also learn to God, and God will repay or, or recompense the evil mm. that they have done. Yeah. What evil yeah. are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Yes. The Lord shall seek a recompense of that. Yes. And uh, uh, I'm looking at uh, this wonderful scripture. Uh, because the spoiler is come upon her, even upon Babylon, and her mighty men are taken away. Every one of his bow is broken. Mm -hmm. For the Lord God of recompense shall surely requite. That's Jeremiah chapter yes. 51, verse 56. Yes. Uh, the Lord shall really require that of you. But I think, I think that one 
it is well answered and it is quite clear yes. that God, if David had gone on to strike, mm. Mm. it was a violation mm. of the scripture. Yes. Because it is the responsibility of God. Remember uh, Hebrews chapter 10, 20, we read verse 13 and 31, yeah. where he was talking about, mm. no, don't worry, that they are saying your blood did not do anything. Mm. They are despising mm. the spirit of grace. The Lord shall, is the Lord shall recompense yes. unto your enemies. The mm. Lord shall judge his people. Mm. So that's the responsibility of God there to do it on behalf of the poor man. Yes, and also evangelists, just to add on to, 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 those, to, to that list of scriptures, mm -hmm. you mentioned about the issue of, of Babylon mm. uh, from the book of Jeremiah 51. But if you go to the book of Revelation chapter 14, mm -hmm. from verse 8 to 10, it says, And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, mm. because she made all nations mm drink of the wine of the wrath of your fornication. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, mm. and receive his mark in his forehead, or in his hand, verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone yes. in the presence of the holy angels mm -hmm. and in the presence of the Lamb. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful scripture there. It 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 am I one of the I I I just is a ruko. It's a position of scripture. It's a position yeah. of scripture. Yes, yeah. it is. So yeah. what I wanted to say is simply is when the reason why David could not avenge for himself, he didn't know the, the the magnitude of this vengeance which he was supposed to use. But the Lord knows. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Amai, uh, in the message, gave us a homework, and yes. I believe that the children re remember mm -hmm. yes. the homework that I was given. But uh, I will allow the media to bring the, the, two, the two homeworks uh, which Amai gave, the two, uh, two questions in mm -hmm. our homework that mm -hmm. we are required to answer. And I want, as quickly as possible, those who can jump in to say we want to attempt to those two questions mm -hmm. uh, in our homework, uh, the Basilei gesture. Yes, what does it say? The children of God manifest a, manifest a great devotional service to God emanating from Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17. Compare Nabal and Basilei on how they both served King David who is a type of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, give at least four major lessons uh, you can extract from their servitude. But mm -hmm. we'll be lenient on you. Whatever, if you know one lesson, just yeah. bring it yes. and support your, 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 yeah. your, your, your position yes. in the scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, and also part B, every child of God ought to serve God the Abigail Basilai way, find from the New Testament scriptures yes. uh, cases of similar nature in which a high service to God was given for us to emulate. Yes. Because what we are reading uh, or what we were taught concerning the Basilai gesture, mm -hmm. truly this is a New Testament message. Basilai. Yes, it is. And, and it's teaching us how we can serve God yes. in a better way. Yes. And, and, and looking at Basilai, we see a very good example. Yes. Mm -hmm. And looking at Nabal, we see a very bad example. Yes. And looking at, at Abigail, oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. what, what a precious gift. Mm -hmm. we, we also learn a lot from her. But we want you to come through the Zoom plus platform uh, quickly to, to answer those. And also, if you have, you have any remarks, any remarks concerning the apostolic assignment that we have? Because indeed, uh, this apostolic assignment, we are getting all these from, from, yes. from it. Yes. Remember, remember, uh, God is in the vessel, yes. mm. the vessel, the, go, the, 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 the earthen vessel mm. that is uttering all these mysteries and all these deep secrets of God. Mm which are being revealed to us. 
We want to learn to know from you, especially looking at Proverbs 19, uh, verse 7, and 17. also the unveiling of Matthew chapter 25. 25. Yeah. How 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 it takes the apostolic grace mm. to really be in a position to bring that out yes. uh, in such an, a, a very clear way. Uh, anyone who wants to answer that, you are free to come through the Zoom platform. But yes, yep. I have ministers in the studio. They will be ready to say it before you even come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, going, I was going to say, Evangelist Mafolo, when, when you're talking about the apostolic grace, yes. we, we, we have to understand that this gospel has been preached uh, for more than 2,000 years. Yes. And we have never had anyone link promise and, 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 and as, as, you, as, as you continue to contribute, to make your contribution, Yes, probably uh, we may need uh, the, those two questions on the on the on the board so that they may be in a position to to take the questions and also to prepare for the answer. You may go ahead, Pastor. Yes, I was I was going to to clarify that a little bit more and 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 and, and, and ask the, the the believers to come out clearly and tell us uh, what they feel. Uh, about this apostolic assignment that is in our midst, because these things have been the, the gospel has been preached for more, more than two thousand years, but we have never actually had anyone who linked uh, Proverbs nineteen seventeen to Matthew chapter twenty-five. <laughs> Tingazo wa guilt ne vesi ya kati makandu wana ndiri mprison. Yes. Muka sandishanyi. Yes. Ati mrukona. Musipatara yeah. wachienda. Wachienda. Netuma baibere. Yeah. Wachida kuna matra wano rwara. Mm. Wachida kuwa sira otuma tushikafu kafu. Mm. Wachiti ndaiva mchi ndai rwara. Asa <laughs> mbundishanyi. Wano wari kutaku za zisa Matthew 25. Mm. <laughs> and I'm saying it is the, the first time I heard because, uh, anybody preaching a different message yeah. on Matthew 25. It is yeah. when I came to Jesus' revelation ministry. Right. But linking it to Proverbs chapter 17, verse 1970, 1970 is something ah, else. Something else. Something else. Yeah. yeah. To me, this apostolic assignment, uh, it's, a, it's a great apostolic assignment. That's how I can describe it. Uh, I've come to know a myriad of uh, revelations of Christ through this assignment. There are a lot of things that were hid uh, in the scriptures, that are still hid in the scriptures, but they are now being unveiled to us. They are demystified to us through this assignment. And one other thing also that you believer or you believers, I want you to, to thank God for. It is because we didn't pray for this assignment to come or we didn't even pray for us to be granted this grace, to have such a command of scriptures such a command of the doctrine of Christ. But it is only because of his abundant grace that he has given unto us, not because we deserved it, but it pleased him to make us to be part of this assignment. So we are also, I also thank God, if I need my follow. Yes. When I look at the, at the quantum of grace, Pastor Juma, yes. that the Lord has, has put in this assignment, Yes, yes. We have also become uh, the beneficiaries, the partakers of the grace, not the grace of Christ, mm -hmm. but the grace of Apostle Terence Farage mm -hmm. We are partakers of the grace that was given to the Apostle by the Lord. That is why you see even the gospel that we preach is the same. Yes. Just like those, just like the water that was 
uh, coming out of Dallas contained in those four rivers. Mm. It was the same, the same water. Both those four rivers, they parted from one river. <laughs> yes. You see? So we are talking of this assignment that yes. has given birth to all these other ministers that we have mm -hmm. in the in JRM. Yes, it is because yes. of this assignment. So yes, I really thank God for that. Yes, indeed. Uh, the question is, the comparison between Nabao and Basilai, how they both served King David. You may remember they lived yes. during the same period in which mm. David was king. Mm. And they were, both of them had an opportunity mm. of ministering to David in person. But, but we see their service to David differing greatly. Huh? But, yeah. but I, from the message, of course, pastors, yes. uh, we, see, we see that uh, the way... I, 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 like, I like this, this Basilai yes. attitude. Yes. And, and if we would understand it ourselves, mm -hmm. every child of God, our service to God would be much better. Yes. Because I, I, I see his, his appreciation of David, mm. acceptance mm. of David, mm. Mm. to the extent that when he gives to David, mm. he does it as a simple son yes. of Israel. Yes. He understands his position. Mm. I, I have seen this man and I know his position. It is to deliver me and to give me a, a future which is hope. Mm. But if he fails, mm. what would become of me? What mm. would become of the whole of Israel? Mm. Mm. If there is needed for me anything that is in my hand and in my ability to give, mm. I, will surely, I will surely give it. Because it makes me happy to see the advancement of the kingdom of David. Yes. But to, to Nabal, look at Nabal. Yes. Even his words were rec reckless and careless. Mm. <laughs> he said, so many, so many servants so are running right. away from so their masters <laughs> these days. <laughs> <laughs> the man seems to be ignorant yeah. of who David is. Yeah. Yes. And he seems to be ignorant of two dispensations that were there. Mm. Because there was the dispensation of Saul, mm. but the kingdom of Saul had been ended by God. Mm. And yet Nabal has no appreciation that in the days of, De of Saul, so. Goliath could not be overcome. Mm. The Philistines were above and on top of Israel. Mm. 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 You see... But it is David who came and defeated Goliath. Mm. And rescued Nabal. And he rescued Nabal mm. himself. <laughs> and he rescued everyone of yes. Israel. Yes. And yet yes. Nabal has no appreciation of, mm. at all mm. about who David mm. is, who mm. he is. So he's ignorant of the dispensation. Yes. We have come from the dispensation of Saul. We are now in the dispensation of David. Mm. Let it be known. And if I am to serve God acceptably, I have to do it the David way. Yes. Mm. Now I'm talking about Old Testament and New Testament. Mm. Mm. You see, Pastor. Yes, I've got, uh, I've got answers already uh, to, the, to, to the homework on the live chat here. Okay. Evangelist Mafolo. Um, I've got uh, uh, Fungai Chatukuta. I think he's answering question number two. He says, every child of God ought to serve God the Abigail Basilai way, find from the New Testament scriptures cases of similar nature in which a high service to God was given for us to emulate. And Fungai Chatukuta says, Look at Gamaliel, Akaita Kutivana, Peter, Vasiwe, he became gracious to a poor man. Mm. Uh -huh. And then uh, Munyara Z says, Philippians chapter 2, verses 25 to 29, uh, chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. Verses 18 to 19, it's on the puzzle I and Abigail, the gestures. And then Naomi Mkuza says, the Shunammite woman was gracious to the prophet. Uh, this is true, but the question was on the New Testament. In the scriptures. New Testament chapters. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So that's, that, that's all the responses I have on the homework so far. Yes, yes, yes. Are we not having somebody on the Zoom platform? 
uh, we urge you to come in. We urge you to come in. This is a homework. Yes. And I gave us uh, during last week's presentation of Buzz Ligesta. And I hope you, you remember it very well. Uh, we are waiting for your responses. And, and certainly we can't answer it for you no. on these matters because mm. Amai gave them to you mm. as an assignment yes. that you need to carry out. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, those contributions, those contributions, somebody said Philippians 2 verse 25. Let's see. Is he on course? What is... Yeah, it says, Yes, I supposed it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my Epaphrodito. brother, and companion in labor, uh -huh. and fellow soldier. Uh -huh. But your messenger and he that ministered to my wants. Yes. Yes. That's Epaphroditus. Mm. Let's, let's see. Uh, yes. Chapter 4, verse 3. Maybe. Chapter 4, verse 3 of Philippians. And I entreat thee also, true your fellow, help these women which labored with me in the castle, with Clement also, and with, with other my fe fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Yes, other laborers whose names are in the book of life. Mm. Uh, but of mention is Clement there. Yes. And other fellow laborers. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you can go and say, ah, as long as you know you're in the book of life, mm. they came and saved in the days of Paul. Yes. yes. Through your fellows. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. uh, chapter 4, verse 18. But, 19. I have, but I have all and abound. I am full having received of Epaphroditus mm -hmm. the things which were sent from you. So we have Epaphroditus dominating there. An order of sweet smell. Uh -huh. A sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. Uh -huh. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. I believe the children will not forget about Lydia. Yes. They will not forget about Priscilla and Aquila. Yeah, yes. They will not forget so many people who came yeah. in and, and did service mm -hmm. in a true uh, Abigail and Basil way. Yes. And, and we are just mentioning these. But I know you have those examples. Yes. yes. But we are also looking at the comparison between Nabal and Basil mm -hmm. because we should be motivated to serve God in a better way. Yes. yes. Unless you go to understand between Nabal and Basilai, mm. your service will be crippled because mm. you may come with the Nabal mm. approach yeah. and that will not be acceptable to the king. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. Any more contributions? Yes, they, they have mentioned here uh, on the live chat. Uh, uh, Romans chapter 16 verses 3 and 4 yes. which is Priscilla and Aquila my helpers in Christ Jesus so did Paul say uh -huh. we have for my life laid down their own necks unto whom not only I give thanks but also unto the churches of the Gentiles yes, so yes. that was charity and love uh -huh. contributing on the live chat there yes yes mm. wonderful mm. wonderful indeed any contributions on the on the comparison Nabal and Basla? I, I I want that contribution, yes. please. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Proverbs Paradise says, First Corinthians sixteen verses seventeen and eighteen. I am glad of the coming of Stephanas and Fortunatus mm -hmm. and Achaicus mm. for that which was lacking on your part. Yes, they have supplied. They well, came and supplied to Paul. Mm. Yes, wonderful contribution there mm -hmm. uh, on behalf of the saints. Mm. So we, yes. we, we, we are seeing people who really were like Basila, mm. <laughs> who, who gave their whole. But, but if you are to go to First Corinthians chapter 8, that's, that's where you will say, ah, do these things really exist? Yeah. Uh, because you find the whole church of Macedonia given... That's Second Corinthians. Yes. And it's amazing in Vangeli that uh, uh, this Basilai, no one actually preached to him. 
Mm. Yeah, that, that's, that, that was strange. That is very strange, but and David did not how, even how did ask he for know? <laughs> how did he know? But but it's a recompense here, Pastor, which I had mentioned in Second Corinthians chapter eight. It's a recompense. Yes. Uh, I want you to know about the the grace bestowed upon the churches in Macedonia. Mm. How that in a great trial of affliction and mm. their ab and the abundance of their joy and deep, deep. poverty. Yes. Look here, deep poverty mm. could not stop the church of Macedonia mm. from ministering mm. to the gospel. Yes. They yes. said, as long as it is the Lord who mm. redeemed me, yeah. whatever is in my hand. Mm. Huh? Mm. Is that not, mm. not what David was oh, actually yes. begging for? for yeah, to Nabal. To yeah. Nabal. He was mm. actually saying to Nabal, whatever is in your hand. Yes. Mm. And, and this church in Macedonia was in deep poverty. Mm. And we have so many children of God who say, I can't contribute because I'm not able to contribute mm. much. I am a poor mm. person. But, but this, in, if you actually compare your poverty to that of Macedonia, would you call your poverty deep poverty? <laughs> and yet these in their deep poverty, what did they do? They contributed to the cause of the gospel. Mm. So if, if you have no idea what you are doing in the service of God, mm. you, you miss a very big opportunity to yeah, serve yes. the king of kings. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. And you then, look at the things that yeah. are there. Mm. Huh? And, and if you are to read on and on, they, 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 they begged Paul, praying us, verse 4, with much entreat that we would receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of the minister into the saints. And this they did, not as we hoped. So they were hoping probably <laughs> they would be in a position to raise $100. Mm, yes. No, they went far above. Eh? But they gave themselves to the Lord and then to us by the will of God. Mm. What a great service. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. By these, yes. the whole church, yes. the mm. church in Macedonia, yeah. mm. Not an individual, but the whole church. The whole what church. if the church in Harare would do the same? Ah. What if the church in Botswana would do the same? Oh, what if wonderful. the church in, 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 in Namibia would do the same? Yes. In Mutare, yes. in Cholocho. Yes. What if we would do the same yes. and save the king of kings yes. in a more honorable way? Yes. As, yes. as is expected of us. Wow. Yes. But, but I, I can see we have somebody on the Zoom platform. Uh, let me extend my invitation to them. Welcome, welcome, brethren. Uh, I'm glad that you are in. Yes, please go ahead. I want to know you, which territory you represent, and also the region you are in. Go ahead, tell us which question, question one or question two, or both. Greetings, greetings uh, my mother. Uh, greetings, uh, Pastor Mzimba and uh, Pastor Chuma. My name is Brethren Albert Maplanga uh, from Africa region and South African territory. I uh, just want to attempt uh, question two, if you would allow me. Okay. Go ahead, my brother. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, I love to practice homework. My, it, it keeps me in the word and it... Uh, then I know which if the Holy Spirit is talking or I'm just learning in vain. Uh, wow. So I send a, a WhatsApp message, but I, I think maybe you are not using the WhatsApp, but I will, I will try the second one. So the first character that I will choose uh, is Joseph of Arimathea. Um, Joseph of Arimathea, he gave to the poor man when he gave his tomb. Uh, we see that in John uh, 19, uh, verse uh, 38 to 42. So that's the first character that I will choose uh, in the New Testament. So yes. for the sake of time, I won't read that, that, uh, that scripture. So I'll go to the second character. The second character that I saw was Nicodemus. Uh, Nicodemus gave to the poor man when he gave his mirror um, so when I was doing a research, I saw that scholars that valued the, the mirror that he gave to about 500,000 U.S. To, in today's money. 
So then I saw how dedicated he was because Nabau even refused with bread and water. But uh, Basilai, we saw Basilai came with a lot of things that included beds, uh, food, and, and, and et cetera, et cetera. But uh, Nabau refused uh, with these things. So the second character is Nicodemus. And the third character is Lydia. Uh, we see Lydia, she gave to the poor man, uh, when Paul and Silas were preaching, so now the, the poor man now in this instance, it will be in the form of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that was in Paul and Silas, she saved the Holy Spirit. She did not save Paul because Paul is not the poor man. The poor man is the Holy Spirit inside Paul and Silas. So she gave to the poor man uh, when she ministered to, to them um, in, uh, uh, I'm forgetting the scripture, but in Acts 16 is. So also on the fourth character is Mary, Mary the sister of, of Lazarus, the friend of Jesus. Uh, when she gave perfume uh, to, to Jesus, she was giving to the poor man. She was being generous to the poor man. So also I, I, I was doing, also doing a research on that. So we saw that uh, the perfume that she gave, it's estimated to be a wage of the whole year, of 12 months' wage. That's how much she gave, and how much the, the, the perfume was. So that was so generous. I was thinking, so can I offer my, my year's salary to, to, to someone? So that is very difficult, but she did that. So I saw also the generosity of her. Then I like it uh, with, uh, with Abigail. When she said on, when the, in First Samuel 25, verse 3, when she lighted off a S, because kuna kuna John kuna kudi swaba chena kuti when Mary came with the perfume, she sat on the foot of Jesus. So ndoku zika kugaita Abigail pa S. Now the humbleness of giving your whole year full of salary in a perfume to someone, but you humble yourself, you sit down. So I also liked that. Then the fifth character is Joseph. Joseph, who was named, was named Barnabas, uh, the Levite, uh, in Acts 4, from verse 32 to 37. So we see Joseph sold his land and brought the money onto the apostles' feet. So that is also a sign of, um, of generosity, because he was not giving the money to, to apostles, as I say, because he was giving it to, to, to God in the form of the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit was one who was... Um, functioning at that time. So then the on the aspect now of Napa, am I ever got wearing a first Timothy uh, first Timothy six from verse nineteen uh shown out Napa Ano Buddha pa um, pa the rich of this world. For the, those people that are rich, but not charge them that are rich in this world. But if I tell lay upon treasures in heaven, not panopasi. So I loved um, 1 Timothy 6, 18 to 19. But it reminded me of another scripture, Irguna Job, Job 21 from verse 18. So this scripture goes end in glove with 1 Timothy 6, verse 18. So I, would, I want to read, uh, if you would allow me, my, my mother, to read your Job 21, verse 18. I love that scripture. So it, it goes as, um, they spend their days in wealth, and in a moment go down to grave. Therefore they say unto God, Depart from us, for we desire not thy knowledge of thy ways. What is almighty that we should save him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Lo, their good is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. How oft is the kind of the wicked put out, and how oft cometh their destruction upon them? God distributed sorrows in his anger. So this scripture was very, very beautiful. If you go to verse 13, it says, they spend their days in wealth. So no patrukona, those guys, they are spending their days in wealth. They spend their days in yach, in, in private planes. So, but Mario, but am I taught us to God and I desire not the wealth of these people of this world? 
any desire, any wealth, young we need, which if I make a billion, what am I going to use that billion for? But when they make their billions, they can distribute it the way they like. They can spend their days in wealth and spending their money. So I love this scripture because it went to end in glove with um, 1 Timothy 6, verse 18 to 19. So that is my small contribution, am I? Oh, uh, thank you, Brother Albert, for your contribution. And indeed, uh, you, you really did, did well in bringing yes. out those aspects. Yes. Uh, yes, lively examples, Joseph of Arimathea, mm -hmm. Nicodemus, yes. Lydia, mm -hmm. Mary, mm -hmm. Joseph, mm. and also your contribution on Nabal. Mm that he is a man who dwells in his riches. First yes. Samuel says that David, when he was sending the young man, he said, Now thus shall you say to him that liveth in prosperity, Peace be both to thee. But mm. I, I, think, I think, Pastor, yes. he knew the problem of those who dwell in their prosperity, just like his brother Albert, Albert said here mm. uh, yes. from, from Job number 21. Yes. yes, they tend to relax sitting in their <laughs> prosperity yes. and forget the purpose of their prosperity. Yes, 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 sure, sure they do, they do, and they, 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 they don't realize that uh, they will perish with their riches. Riches uh -huh. uh, uh, did never perish and uh, left all, of course, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Nabal perished, left all, and David had to take Nabal's wife. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. He, he even left the wife. <laughs> he even left the wife. Ah, wonderful. Yes. Ah, that was a marvelous <laughs> contribution, Pastor Mzimba, uh, from Koma Obed, Shimaplanga. Yeah, it was a good contribution that the, that the brethren has just given us. Yeah, it really showed how different uh, believers can be in the New Testament when they are ministering to the Lord. But I would allude that to the book of Second Corinthians chapter 8, the one that we have read. When we see the, 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 the believers in Macedonia, they were in deep poverty, they were in abject poverty, and yet they managed to, to minister to the Lord with all their hearts. They poured out their hearts unto the Lord. And I was analyzing it to say, uh, wanting to, to understand why them being in that abject poverty, and yet mm -hmm. they, they, they managed to minister to the Lord. Unlike the church of Corinth, that was at Corinth, Apostle Paul was always complaining about the, 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 the believers at Corinth. Mm -hmm. But the answer is in verse 4. Before they gave unto the Lord, before they ministered with their substance to the Lord, mm -hmm. they first gave themselves unto God. That is the reason why uh, they managed to, 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 to offer to the Lord. You see now. And that's the reason also why Nabal couldn't minister to David. Mm -hmm. He had not given himself <laughs> to the Lord, unlike Basilai. So we have these Basilai in the New Testament also you have the, the, the Nabals in the New Testament. But his, his, his submission was, was quite good. It was and, a very good contribution. Yeah. If you can also go to the book of Luke chapter 8. Luke chapter one. 8, that's where I am. <laughs> I, I wanted to read it. Yes, from uh, one. Verse number 2. Yes. And certain women which had been healed yes. of evil spirits and infirmities, yes. Mary called Magdalene out of whom went seven devils. Mm. Uh, and Joanna... Uh, the wife of Shusa, Herod Stuart, and Susanna, and many others ministered unto him of their, their substance. Yes, you see they that? ministered mm. unto the Lord yeah, of with their, their substance. Yes. Mm. And also, again, one, uh, one minute before I, before I, I end, uh, we may have some believers who may say, ah, who, may, who may be troubling themselves. Ah. So does that mean to say I am not a child of God because I am not able to give according to, to what I would want to give. Uh, the Lord will empower you. The Lord will always um, uh, enable you. He will give you grace to be able to, to minister to the Lord. Uh, 
Ishano Batrai, Kutimugopa, Ano Batrai. We are a very rich church. We are not a poor church. We are very rich. The Lord has, has blessed us with everything. <laughs> I got uh, yes, uh, yes, Pastor. Mm. And and what is necessary also because you you are addressing uh, to the children, you are addressing yes. to the sons of the house, yes. uh, encouraging them to be like Abigail, to yes. be like Basilai, yes. and to understand that true giving yes. can only be done from knowledge. Yes. Let the best be a knowledge. Mm. In mm. you concerning the kingdom, mm. and yes. mm. when when we look, that's the reason why I said Nabal seems to be unaware of the dispensation yes. in which he was. Mm. Yes, mm. that is failure to understand mm. that it was the time of David, mm. Mm. not at the time of oh, Saul. Right. It was a great error mm. on his part. Yes, but when we are to serve God in an acceptable way, yes, we have to to to, to position ourselves in a position where the Lord gives us the knowledge. Mm -hmm. And whatever we do as sons of the kingdom, mm -hmm. we are no longer begging for blessings. Yes. Jesus' revelation ministries. Papa, it a certain committee. True giving in the house of God, it should not be because you have money. You have this and that. But true giving should actually, and it shouldn't be because you are being pushed mm. to a gift. Yes. You know, so many people are motivated mm. by, if you give, yes. there shall be abundance, the yes. Lord shall do this and that, yes. Yes. And, and you shall have money, mm. you shall have many, much more money. Mm. But that should not be your best for mm. giving. Mm -hmm. True base of forgiving should be an appreciation of the king. That's what we see on Basilai. Yeah. He understands, yeah. I am who I am now mm -hmm. because David defeated Goliath. Yes. Because David delivered us from the Philistines. Mm -hmm. Now because of that, I pay my allegiance to him. Yes. I will have to make sure that all that I, from all that I have, mm -hmm. I will make sure I support that work that David is doing, the ministry that David is heading, mm -hmm. so that it may progress well. Mm -hmm. And and you may find you may find it strange that the work of God sometimes needs financing. Yes. And here and there, and probably we don't even tell you, because we should not be in a position where we simply say there is not this, there is not this, and that, that is sugar yapera, office ma pasta baloi, amusna vura, office ma pasta chuma, apasna chakati. We are not that kind of a kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yes. What we want to teach you is your appreciation of the king. Do you know the king? Mm. Where would you be now had it not been that the yes. king sent somebody yes. to you yes. with the yes. gospel? Yes. Now, the king, the same king whom you say sent the gospel to you, mm. he requires you to save him, but saving with that Abigail Basla mm. spirit mm. attitude yes. in which you say, yes. I am doing it as a son yes. of the house. Yes. Yes. I don't seek a blessing. Whether God blesses me or not, whether God does anything, what I know is I am what I am now. I could never, there was no amount of money that would have bought my position. Mm. I am a child of God because God extended so much grace to my life. And, and, yeah. and, and we see also in eternity, Philippians chapter 4, uh, we are told that it's, when, we, when we even come to you, we don't seek when we talk about you giving you the opportunity to give, it's not that we desire a gift, that's what Paul was saying, mm. but I seek that fruit may abound mm. to your, your account. account. So mm. every child of God should know they yes. carry an account. Yes. And that yeah. account is in God. Amen. But unfortunately, the account doesn't just, it's not just an account, an empty account that should be things that should be done deliberately from you 
what you do to the poor man, mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. will be put into your account. Yes. Yes. And that's what he say, I desire that fruit may abound to your account. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you give in monetary terms, fruit will abound. If you give in other means, fruit will abound. Mm -hmm. So be in a position to give according to knowledge. Mm -hmm. I am doing it for the Lord. Yes. I'm doing it for David who conquered Goliath and mm. given me the victory. Pastor Chuma, you wanted to say something? Yes, I wanted to say something. I wanted to say something here, Evangelist Mafor, uh, about Nabal. That, uh, you, you remember when our mother taught us, she proved to us that Nabal the Camelite is actually from the tribe of Judah. Nabal is, is, is brothers with David who also comes from the tribe of Judah. Mm. But Nabal has no connection with David. Uh -huh. yeah. He has no appreciation of David. Uh -huh. Can you imagine someone, a Ziklakite, who has no connection with Christ, who has no appreciation of Christ? Yeah. What a disaster that would be. But anyway, what we are learning from this is that Basilai instead has a connection with David. Yes. yes. Basilai has an appreciation of David. Yes. And what David has done, he understands that he was rescued by David. Mm -hmm. David is the, is, the, is the poor man who rescued the little city. Yes. And I know that us as Ziklachites, we do understand that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rescued us from the powers of darkness. Yes. And then God translated us into the kingdom of his dear son mm -hmm. because of what the poor man did. Yes. That is exactly what uh, that's the puzzle I gesture there. He appreciates the throne. He mm -hmm. appreciates uh, the king. He has a connection with the king. Yes. And, uh, and, and uh, brethren, I know that we want to do this. I know that we can do this. I know that we want to, to, to emulate Epaphroditus. Yes. We want to emulate Lydia. Mm -hmm. We want to em emulate Luke, the physician. Mm -hmm. We want to em emulate John Mark, mm -hmm. who was a scribe. Mm -hmm. We want to emulate all these people that we mentioned today, Joseph of Arimathea. We want to emulate them. Mary, the sister of Lazarus, we want to emulate them. Yes. Just just those beautiful lessons that came from from this review, yes. evangelist much should follow, and I thank Albert Maplanga as well for, 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 for putting such an effort to the homework. I was hoping that uh, somebody else will come through uh, with question, question one there to compare Nepal with, with Bezalel. But yes. uh, anyway, uh, all the same, we are very thankful, evangelist. We are thankful yes. indeed. Uh, thank you for those contributions yes. uh, we received uh, on the chat. And also, even Brother uh, Albert, who came through uh, with his contributions. Indeed, it is a wonderful thing to serve God acceptably. And we should emulate all those who are recorded in the scriptures who served God in an acceptable way. And that, that is a reward because your account will not be an empty account. Mm. I know many do withdraw. They just want to withdraw from accounts. <laughs> if you have a bank account right now, Pastor, with cabs or, or, or even any bank, mm. if, you only, if you are that kind of person who always withdraws, you will end up in the negative. Mm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you would withdraw everything to the last cent. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we see Basilai as somebody who was even not a bother to David. Mm. He saved David from deep within his heart. Yes. To the extent that when we see him in chapter 19 of 1 Samuel, we see him not demanding. Mm. Huh? He's not demanding to David. David, and David, and David, and David. But I am not putting a demand on David. Mm. But it, it is David who actually wanted to do good to, to I, I'm talking of 
uh, Basilai. Ah, yeah, yeah, it yeah, is yeah, actually right. David who wanted to do good to Basilai. Mm. Yes. And yet Basilai says, no, I will not, I will not be a bother. In that was Pegurira was Wangu this year in Nigago and Uncle Mido Garaoko. Never know Wangu does Kapaku farm. I don't want to withdraw from my account. Let mm. my account stay intact. Mm. Uh, and and I, I hope we don't have such people. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the church is not an institution that uh, is there only to 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 probably help people probably face financial challenges. The first thing is to the church. Yeah. And it is to the church. Yeah. And you end up withdrawing everything, everything. to the last yeah. cent. Yeah. You say, but you have withdrawn all that you gave. <laughs> that is if you gave in the first place. Yes. Yeah. But we don't see even Basilei acting like that. Yes. He understood the kingdom. Mm. He operated the kingdom way. Mm. And even in our giving, our service to God, mm. we have to make sure we do it the kingdom way. Amen. Yeah. Amen. There are people who not live past the Chumas' house when they know they brought meat to the pastor Shuma's house. Mm. <laughs> they will not leave the house until the meat is finished. <laughs> they, <will> say, <laughs> they want to make sure they withdraw yeah. to the last cent. But uh, I'm joking, of course. Yes. I'm joking about the Basilai. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Such, such are the cases we learn. Yes. We learn how to serve God mm. and, and what it light. To me, I, 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 it was a journey that I enjoyed yes. looking into the Basilei Meta yes. uh, from start up to now. Mm. And I hope you benefited in one way or another. Mm -hmm. and, and you have been rebuked or you have been corrected in one way or another. And, and I hope this discussion among the ministers enlightened you also uh, in the in the way we are to serve in the house of God, and of course, on your homework, we wanted you to come in as many as of you would have come. We really desired that you would have done that. Yeah. But thank you for your participation to those that came, and I trust and I believe God that we will have men of us rising to the mm -hmm. occasion yes. to become children who serve the Father as sons of the house, as enlightened people, mm. knowing what we are doing for yes. the Lord. Yes. Uh, till we meet again, let this be a bye-bye from Pastor Mzimba. You can, you can say goodbye to the children, and we close this session till we meet on Sunday. I thank God for, for where he has taken us. He has taken us this far, and I really want to believe that everyone has benefited from this discussion that we have that we have been having from this side, and I would also want to, to advise you to to revisit these two say these two sermons also, just to beef up and also to to pick up some of the things that you might have amissed during the course of listening to in to those sermons. Yes, I thank you, evangelist. Thank you. Till we meet again. Yes. It's bye for now.